alongside Ryan Fools, Colin, and PR. And boy, what a match we just saw. Optic Gaming loses to Denial. And of course, Ryan said it yesterday, if anyone could do it his franchise, Ryan, I'm gonna start with you. My heart is still beating. What a match that was. And I did say yesterday, the only person in this building I think that can beat Optic Gaming for a championship is franchise. We're not there yet. We are not in the championship game yet. Optic Gaming still has to get through a very strong and very hot Ghost Gaming roster, who keep in mind, guys, is the core who sent them home in Vegas that created this roster change in the first place. So there's a lot of different kind of variables and storylines going on in this Losers Finals. I cannot wait to see the action unfold. And honestly, I want to see what Optic Gaming we get. That's a great point. That was in the Losers bracket as well back in Vegas. That was without Identives. PR, you had a chance to coach Identives for a very long time. What does Identives bring back to this Mexico roster? He brings a, a lot. He brings the hype. He brings the heart and the soul of the team. These guys welcome him with open arms, waiting for him to come back. He brings a, a new level of organization and slaying power. And it's not even just the slaying power because you have monkeys that can do it with him. He's able to slay. He's able to run around the map lancering and help all of his teammates and, and be a position player if need be. So Identifs brings an overall balance of, of anything you need on this roster for the team. Is it me or they almost look kind of like a, a ghost gaming of past, right? It almost looks like Danny kind of brought back some of that ghost gaming system to this new ghost gaming team. Yeah. I was going to say swag, not yeah. system. Swag. Yeah, and if you look at them, they, they run in a similar fashion than the old ghost gaming roster used to, right? They're very, very shotgun heavy. They move together. They move quickly. They look like a, a version of ghost gaming that just that speaks Spanish now. <laughs> Force representing well the same banner. There's a new yeah. flag. That's about it. Colin, you've been watching these guys for a very long time. Of course, ghost gaming relatively new to the scene. You've been around and watching for a while. What's the difference between some of these new age ghost gaming players and some of these old school players like franchise eternity etc so I look at this I look at it this way they love to be in a fight franchise eternity they love to assess the situation they love to scout the rest of the mountaintop and say all right how do we take on this fight these boys from ghost gaming they don't give a damn how they take the fight they're just gonna go down the mountainside <laughs> as hard as they can they're gonna pound away at their enemy until they're in submission hold saying enough enough uncle uncle so I love ghost gaming's mentality today. uncle uncle <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what are, they, what, are they, what are they going down the mountain on? Skis, snowboard, uh, snowshoes? They, they got a Ferrari. Gas pedal, the, it's, 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 it's the Ferrari. gas pedal there's, on There's no trees on that mountain, it's just ice and snow and they're just sliding across it with the tires just rotating as fast as they can. It's an F-250, baby. Cherry red, it looks so sweet. This, what am I doing? What? These descriptions, what? man. Whose man's oh is this? Can someone tell me? <laughs> Some wife back home, huh? and a beautiful daughter. Of course, that's great. Oh, that's great, that's as good as it gets. Ryan, you made some comparisons to the ghost gaming of the past. This is the Spanish-speaking ghost gaming. One thing in particular that we all know, Optic has ghost gaming's number and always Big has. 15-0 against ghost gaming on LAN, has never lost to the ghost gaming roster on LAN PR. Is it the first ghost gaming roster that can do it that can beat Optic Gaming? I honestly think it can, because going into this event, I was talking to people, I was letting everybody know, if Optic is going to lose an event, it is going to be this event. Like if you, or everybody pays attention to the scene, you know, Optic Gaming has not been preparing for this this event at all, realistically. They're taking time off, they're playing other games. You guys know Billy's playing Call of Duty. So the preparation, realistically, is not there for this Optic squad, and it showed in our winner's finals, and it's a possibly that we can see it here in our loser's finals again. Wow. Yeah, I mean, they've kind of coasted in, in similar fashion that they have in the past, right? They get on kind of a hot streak, they win a few events in pretty dominant fashion, and they kind of start to tone down the practice schedule a little bit. Obviously, we had the holidays recently. I know that a lot of them took time off for the holidays, and they kind of haven't been practicing very hard until, I'd say, maybe the last couple weeks or so. Again, no excuse for that, right? Don't get me wrong. There's no excuse for that. And we saw Denial being the hardest working team leading yep. up to this, and that paid off big time. I do know Ghost Game has also worked very, very hard themselves. Wow. Interesting. So that might be indicative of what we're going to see. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. We will see if that's the case here. And Gears Pro Circuit, Mexico City, certainly a lot of gears to be played. That is for sure. This Optic Gaming squad lost a 2K near Christmas time, late December. That was kind of a wake-up call for them. They turned it on since then. How have they been doing since then, Colin? They've been doing it on fire. They barely dropped any maps in a 2K and our community series that were going on in between of these tournaments. They have just dominated the competition every single time they have a chance to go against any of these top teams. They're ready and willing to just pound them into submission. And I, I, I think we might see that again because you don't want to wake them boys up. They sleep in giants. Yep. Well, Optic Gaming has never lost to a Ghost Gaming roster. Something tells me Chaos has something to say about that. Let's go ahead and kick it over to Paula on the main stage with an interview with Chaos. All right, the time has come. We have Optic Gaming and Ghost on main stage. Can we get some hype? All right, I'm going to start it off with you, Summons. 
That was a pretty big upset. Uh, what are the strategies? What's the mindset right now with the green wall? Uh, honestly, you know, just play like ourselves. Definitely that match we didn't play like ourselves. Uh, but going forward, we're going to forget about that. Go uh, take every round, round by round, and match, and map by map, pretty much. ¿Y cómo está tu presión ahora jugando contra Ghost? What's your pressure right now feeling playing against Ghost right now? Uh, es igual. Uh, no, yo sé que ustedes quieren que uh, Ghost gane, pero... Uh, you know, yo también soy este, bien este, buen amigo con ellos y yo creo que esta partida va a estar bien buena para ustedes. Do you have any words to say? ¿Tienes unas palabras con eso? Este, bueno, nosotros vamos a jugar nuestro juego y vamos a ganar. All right, Chaos. There's no denying that Ghost is Mexico's favorite. Quiero saber, para aquí, ¿qué sería ganando aquí en, en la Ciudad de México? Bueno, este, para nosotros, para los seis sería todo. Este, los fanáticos, el apoyo es increíble. Este, nada, gracias por estar aquí apoyándonos a todos. Los amamos, los queremos y pues vamos a ganar por ustedes. He said, this win is going to be for you guys because we love you. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this matchup started. Well, nothing but love for this massive Mexican and Latin American Gears War audience team here today to support their favorite teams. Ghost Gaming and Optic Gaming both have been a fan favorite. And boy, I think they're going to pick their legions here. Oh, yeah. You're going to hear loud and clear. I might be like a bullhorn with not an extra. Well, looks like we are ready to set the stage. The map pick and bands are ready. Let's go ahead and see and take a close look at which maps will be played here in this Losers Bracket Final. Of course, map number one, Ghost Gaming chooses Slab, which Optic just took Denial to round 13 on. Of course, Ghost also took Denial to round 13 on it. So we've been talking for a long time about this rock, paper, scissors matchup between Optic, Ghost, and Denial, formerly Echo Fox. Who has the upper hand on Slab here? You know, I think, I think I'm going to give it to Optic Gaming. I, I do. I think that they got some reps on the map. I think they do, they've kind of leaned out in the past. What actually I think is interesting is that they chose Old Town as the second map. It looks like they felt pretty good about Harbor. It, it did sneak in through to the third map, but they're look, it's looking like they're testing out Old Town. Maybe they're testing that out to kind of prepare to potentially pick it against Denial if they get to that point in the championship. Meanwhile, this Ghost Gaming squad bans out Damp. They lost Damp to Denial quite convincingly. Map number two will be Old Town. Map three is Harbor. What are your thoughts on the ban, on the, the ban of Damp here, Pierre? I mean, I, I don't disagree with it. Uh, like you said, they, they had a dominant performance performance against Space Station on it, but they, they fell flat against Denial, and Optic has always been a good damn team. So uh, in, in their eyes, you don't want to get caught in those crossfire matches against Optic Gaming. You want to make sure you have those close quarter fights. A good damn team indeed. They have been. They've won quite a few matchups on that map. Of course, Colin, I'm going to ask you, you've seen him play quite a, a, for quite a long time. Your thoughts overall on this Optic roster? I know you were a fanboy a little bit earlier. Now they're, now they're in loser's bracket. Your thoughts on that? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not changing nothing about how I <laughs> felt about him earlier. I said this morning I wanted to see my main man, Fran, back in the grand finals. He's already made it. But now I got my other prediction. You don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger. And you don't mess around with Optic. These boys are about to go off in this loser's finals. Lone Rangers, Supermen, all of the beautiful metaphors we use to describe <laughs> how dominant this Optic Gaming is squad squad is. Let's go ahead and take a look and learn a little bit more about Optic Gaming. You know, I've been playing Gears of War for so long. You know, practice day in and day out, night in and night out. You know what I mean? Tournament, I play tournaments, land events, everything, you know, like, when you practice and play and you do something for so long, it's really hard to not be confident, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it really is, you know. My confidence comes from practice. Of course, all the confidence in the world. Why wouldn't you have it when you're Optic Gaming, a team that has won over 15 Gears of War championships, the winningest team not only in Gears of War history, but in console esports history, the most dominant squad at that. 17 to be exact. 17 for, to be exact. For Billy and Gilbert. For Billy and Gilbert. Very important. Okay, okay. Important. Can you believe I, that? 17 champ. Remember when we thought Infinity was hot shit because they won four? <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. Unbelievable. Yep. Times have changed. Optic Gaming led by, oh, Captain, my Captain. Explosive at the top left of your screen. Of course, the addition of Praised and Solars to the squad. And gentlemen, looks like the map is getting underway here. But before we jump in, I'm going to start with UPR. 
are your predictions and map count for this one. I mean, I was talking to people, this is the first time in my life I, I've been so confused about who's going to win, but I'm going to go with the hometown favorites. I'm, I'm going to go with my favorites, Ghost Gaming, but it is going to be a nail-biter of a match. 2-1. 2-1. Ghost Gaming 2-1. Colin? 2-0 uh, OG. They're angry? Oh, they angry, Are they a boy. dog? They're, they're the hungry as the dogs. They're like a stray that ain't eating in weeks, baby. <laughs> They're ready and willing to bite their master at this point. The hand <laughs> beats them. Finally a dog metaphor, Ryan. You've been waiting all of it for that I, one. I'll say, I don't have a cool canine-based metaphor, but I do also <laughs> agree that this is an angry optic gaming. I'm going to take the angry team 2-0 to zero over the hometown favorite. They want their revenge on denial. Of course, the map will be the slab. The teams will be Optic Gaming and Ghost Gaming. Who would have thought we'd have Optic Gaming in the Losers Bracket Final for the first time in a long time. Of course, since Paris, of course, at that event, Optic Gaming grinded through Losers to reset the bracket, win the championship. Can they do it today? Optic Gaming versus Ghost Gaming will be coming up next. And to bring you the action, we have PR and Colin. Colin, it is time. Our Losers Finals, we get to see the first time in almost two years, Optic having to come back from the loser's bracket to try and claim another championship. On the other side, you have Ghost Gaming, who been putting on a show for us here, the hometown heroes. And there you go, started off monkeys with first blood. Yeah, they started great right there. Smokes out, trying to hide their numbers. They're going to run in here on Mendel. Mendel's going to go for a couple of shots there. He's going to get one, but he's going to get taken out. So PR, early in this round, it looks like Ghost Gaming is going to have the advantage. Couple members down, having to come off respawn. They might have some position. Yep, but Ghost Gaming is doing a good job here. They already got one kill on Mental. Praise is also put full red, so they need to keep pushing forward and keeping this pressure up. It's been working for them almost all day long today, and, and why would it stop now as multiple members of Optic are going to continue to fall. Ghost Gaming is coming out hot. This is a different Ghost Gaming squad, ladies and gentlemen. They're being patient. They're actually allowing Optic to try to fly around, and they're just taking advantage with their Lancers, trying to get damage in from a distance. Make them make the mistakes, and that's what you got to do early in these rounds with the respawn so low. Keep your spacing. Make sure you get the damage in. Initial damage is everything in them close fights. Yeah, and you said it perfectly right there. With, with this early respawn round, you don't want to put all your eggs in the triple cap basket too long, but two members, Optic Gaming, go down for a second, but Solar's able to tap up, and this is where Ghost Gaming, they're deciding to retreat for a moment, but as I say that, Identus went for a little bit of a cheeky flank there. Cost him his life, along with Sleeper, so Optic with the upper hand. This is where you're going to look for them to push up a game position on this map. You already see them already with control of B. They got another kill, as you saw there on the overhead map on Dezenide. So now they have the upper hand. Now it's Ghost Gaming's turn to try and make a comeback. Yeah, Ghost Gaming is going to have to play defense, definitely. They are way ahead in the point section of this map, but at any given moment, at any given time, they can get a couple of kills, maybe a white, and get on to the A-Hill. But I'm telling you right here and right now, Chaos is like a different man. He tried to get some big L-triggers there, couldn't get the kill, but got it down. I believe Praise getting Chaos and Dezo getting Praise. So the trades are coming out. Both teams fighting and slapping back and forth, but a possible triple cap. And, and there's only two people alive for Optic and a possible triple cap coming out. That, that's insane right now. The last two members alive, I know you see three. One of them did just spawn up. And they're trying to make a play over on Ghost Gaming's home hill. But Ghost Gaming, they're going to survive for the time being with that lead in their hands as well. This is looking good for Ghost Gaming coming out hot. And you got to wonder on the side of Optic Gaming, what are you going to be able to do to come back into this one? What type of push? Because right now it looks, if they go right now, they got two pushes. If they take too long, they're going to have only one push and it's going to be unorganized. So as you take a look here from that side of the map, you saw the x-rays where Optic Gaming was getting up their forces. They were getting ready for this push. They throw smokes now. They're going to go for the break here on beat. Praise knows he's going to go down. They had a mark on him. They're going to lancer him out. They get the break, which is good for them because it doesn't allow Ghost to continue to rack up points as fast as they should. But with a massive lead, they're in do or die territory now. Yep, and since the respawn timers are so short, they're going to have to go over kills over hills here in this situation. Obviously, they have to break the hill of Identives and company, but it has to be kills over hills. They can't stop in Cat B. They need to get these kills and go forward. But Dezo shutting down summons, so the, the push initially comes through, gets the break there on B, but I don't know if it's going to translate into anything because Praise is going to have to win himself a 2v1. That's not going to come through. The shots will come out from Explosive, but Identives is right there. He'll pick himself back up. And with that cap of B, that will secure them round number one. PR, I know it's early, but we have got a game, baby. And, and to me, you know, a couple of these guys said it on the desk throughout the weekend. Practice beats skill nine times out of ten.
And right now, Ghost Gaming showing all the practice they've been doing. Optic, on the other hand, not as prepared as other events. You're going to see Mental Hell wear a couple of weapons, and usually Furnace is where you throw down that weapon or block it off if you don't want a cluster of a fight similar towards Reclaimed Fight, a map we don't typically see anymore. But they're going to actually place it in the middle. That way, if a boom or a drop shot does go down, it is in that cluster fight, and that sometimes Optic tends to excel in, but Ghost Gaming on the other hand, we already shown those type of fights we've seen in Space Station on Dam, we've seen it at last uh, off stage against Simplicity, they make things happen in these tight corners. VR, I like, I, I might not like the block, but you know, it takes out that section of the map, you don't really have to focus on it now, you're still gonna have somebody go through that mid-cut area because it's a big sight line, a big lane you gotta take care of. At the end of the day though, the smokes will come out, we're gonna have to play this, I had to wipe my eyes in between rounds to make sure I was seeing correctly, Solar's still has a goose egg for kill, so let's see if he can get back into this one and maybe change the fortunes of OG going into this one. Optic Gaming trying their hardest yeah. to not let the spiral out of control. They just took a loss, coming off of one, whereas Ghost Gaming is coming off some hot wins. Ghost Gaming around the map. They did lose monkeys, but a nice two kills picked up on the side of Ghost that is going to potentially even it up. Didenim is down, but Mental, he's going to do mental things. He's going to get one. He actually full reds Dezenite as well. If Mental plays this right, he could be a double kill, but he's actually choose to retreat. He got Probably a possible call out, yeah, for a sleeper right there. So that was actually smart plays, smart rotations by Optic. But Mental kind of stuck in that middle, allows for a Ghost Gaming to pick up another kill. They have a man advantage for just a short time. How are they going to use it? Well, what I see here, Ghost Gaming is probably going to push up out of that laundry. They're going to use these Lancers to go straight down that sight line to B, make sure Optic is never comfortable at that B hill. They're going to get the couple downs there, and it's going to allow for Dezenite across the map to push up forward onto Summons over here, who is full red, explosive shoulders and Summons having to play this is a little bit of a wolf pack. They're going to have to get some shots in here. They're going to get the break. That might not matter for now. You're going to be able to push back in and get a kill if you can just angle them out and get the shots in. Denim's is kind of trying to be sneaky right here. They know Dezo is there. They spotted Dezo. They shot Dezo. I don't know if they know Denim's is there on the other side of the map. It does look like Ghost Gaming is trying to hold down this furnace. First one is going to go down Sleeper. He's going to do what he can with this revive. Lots of shots traded out for both teams. Players put full red, but it's going to be Sleeper. He's going to be the one that falls. Explosive getting a kill on Mental as well. Identis finally spotted out. Another member of Ghost Gaming is going to fall. So only three dead on the side of Ghost. Now Hills are going to be threatened by Optic. Well, Dezo's going to have to watch for Praise coming in on a hot flank. He's going to get some pistol shots on him there. So that's going to back him up. But another triple cap being threatened. They're going to have to go now. You're going to have to run because you don't want to go down in this round. You don't want to make it 1 1. But. It will not matter. Optic Gaming will get their first round on the board. I'm curious what Ghost is going to do. The way that they've been winning that furnace fight early on in these rounds, I expect to see something big go down there. Get I expect a drop, to see shot, yeah, a drop boom, shot. or a boom. Make it about a big team fight there at the furnace. If, if they, they put down a double, I also don't, I'm not mad at that, but. I don't want to say I called it, but you know how it is. Yeah, I mean, you, you didn't see. call it, but you called it. You know, I ain't do that. But, <laughs> yeah. I but, you know, if you look at the scoreboard, you already talked about Solis with a goose egg. Finally on the board with one, praised with one, but he has five downs. I know stats don't tell the full picture, but early on, they show a little portion of it. Boom shot is going to be down in the furnace. This is where you can see three members from each team push over and maybe one through the middle, and this is where it's going to be a bloodbath. Oh, most definitely. Smokes come out. Identity actually gets stunned by a secondary smoke thrown by Optic Gaming. It was a little late. And even though Explosive gets the boom shot in his hands, it don't matter. Somebody was there to pick him up. Another member of Ghost Gaming and four down. Five down now for Optic Gaming. Ghost Gaming will have an opportunity here to get a triple cap. They had plenty of resources all spawn. They got the boom shot in the home hill of Optic. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll be the second round for Ghost Gaming, I believe. It should be right there. Identity's. <laughs> Even throwing that boom shot out for no reason, but Ghost Gaming with the crowd on their side, coming up hot. Identifs standing up, talking his trash, but on the other side, Optic, they need to wake up because right now they didn't expect to lose that winner's finals. I know they were still the favorite to win, and now in this loser's finals on paper, you'd have to think they're still the favorite to win, but with the home crowd on the side of Ghost Gaming, it, you know, anything can be possible right now. Everyone is doing their part, and this is what it's amazing from both of these squads. They're putting their blood, sweat, and tears into this last, possible last match of their day. So Ghost Gaming is doing exactly what Denial did. Ghost is pushing into them. They're keeping up the gaming on their toes, like on their heels, actually. Excuse me, that's what I meant to say. Then you gotta fight them like that. You can't let Optic get comfortable, really plant their back foot, deliver a haymaker. You gotta fight with them. You gotta bang out with an explosive, push across after getting that first kill, and he's gonna get traded out. There's a second one, though, for Ghost Gaming. Jacob, 
early in these rounds, Ghost is ready yep. and willing to trade out the flag. And this is similar to when Optic Gaming lost to the former Ronin squad, which is now Ghost Gaming. That's five dead for Optic. This is very, very similar to how they defeated them the first time. They were winning these initials, and they were shutting Optic down early, and there was no answer back from Optic. Obviously, Optic winning one round, trying to go for a break, trying to pull off this one explosive. He's going to go down mental. He's trying to do mental things. He does get the reset for him. No, he doesn't. He actually didn't even get the decap. Ghost Gaming. This is the tale of the tape right now, ladies and gentlemen. With the crowd on their side, they are going to make history. Have you ever seen a team get the rug pulled out from under them that quickly? Ghost Gaming thought, oh no, Mental might be in the hill. He might get the decap. But instantaneously, that boom shot comes in. Rug comes out from under their feet. Optic Gaming is looking at a three to one deficit early in map number one in PR. Talk to me, baby. It's what I've always said every team has to do against this Optic squad. You need to go up early. Because once you fall and you're down 3-1 to Optic, even if you start to make a comeback, Optic then can turn it on and begin to win those rounds. So going up 3-1 for Ghost, that's exactly what you need to do. Look at this. They're going to send four straight into the fight. They're going to go ahead and they're not going to play around with these numbers. They're going to send four over there. Smoke's coming out. Desenai is going to pick off Mental, though, in the front of that fight. What the tip of the spear, if you may. Now you got a 3v3 even. Solar's gonna pick one off. There you go. Get your numbers, the use numbers. Am I right, PR? Yes, indeed, right there. Two kills a piece right now. Explosive. He's trying to chase monkeys around, but monkeys finally going down. But sleeper, he does have the sniper, so he possibly could be watching over. But uh, it all depends. Oh, he actually grabs it in cover. Explosive, smart man, right there, ladies and gentlemen. He probably knew sleeper had the sniper. Probably was spotted because the guy who capped me for Optic Gaming could have spotted him out. And there you go, explosive trading that to mental. And I think that was the best thing he could have ever done because you guys, when you guys watch explosive, you know he's gonna be the guy that goes around putting a lot of lands for fire, a lot of support fire down for his team so he's going to give the boom shot to mental that way he can continue to do just that just last match on harbor explosive literally put on a master class and how to use the mark so he was hitting every shot that came out of the barrel of that thing so he's going to pull his lancer back out now he's going to see chaos on the mark he's going to get that down there on chaos if i am optic gaming i rotate i rotate that boom over there i use that thing to get either a kill or try to get the person coming in to get the revive because then you can really open up your push because here comes the hammer burst fire from Ghost Gaming to push Explosive back. And finally, here comes the boom shot. They're going to get it down there and they cut this. So PR. Be a bait. Big shout out. Doesn't Ooh. get a kill. It's just going to hurt. I love the attempt, though. I love what he was trying to do right there. Mental getting the second one. Now he's going to continue that fight, but he's on Ghost Gaming side of the map. So this could be a little dangerous. So as he picked up some kills with the boom, he's going to quickly fall. Praise. On the other side, he's gonna get an angle. He's gonna be able to shoot down on Monkey, so this is good for Optic Gaming. They're finally starting to gain some control once more, like we saw in round number two. You know, and you see right there, toward the end of that fight, that exchange, Explosive finally got some marks out. And marks are one of the most important things you can do for your teammates. It helps them get knowledge around the map. It knows where the numbers are. It tells them where to shoot exactly. And I'm telling you, in just a few short moments, that secondary boom shot will be up. So you got to think about positioning back in that furnace area if you're optic gaming, especially <laughs> if people are dying. <laughs> the way Explosive just passed out right there, even though they're threatening with yet another triple cap boom shot. It's going to be up in roughly 15 seconds. This looks good for Ghost Gaming. They have multiple members alive for it to be exact. Solars does have that sniper. He, to me, he's going to be the saving grace for this boom shot pickup, but it, it, Ghost Gaming have to be aware, and they have to pick it up just like Mental did. Sit in cover and then pick it up from there. And I already see the guy, Monkeys, he's on it. So shout out to Demise with that timer, making it happen. Oh, yeah, Coach is oh so pivotal here in the highest level of Gears of War. Shot comes out. He misses there. Monkeys on that body shot. But you see three members of Ghost Gaming are going to rally around over towards his B-Hill. So Solars has to back off, get some marks, maybe try to get a body shot or two. If he's lucky, he might pop ahead if he really tries. But they are all the way up to 185. Oh, he and he runs the boom. up all Monkeys. That's the boom shot. That's a big... That's a big mental error right there, but here comes a hot flank. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh my God, Chaos, he's able to pick up the boom. They need to go rush the hill. That's why nobody is capping B at this very moment. Mental, he's gonna get the decap across the map. Somebody has to head down. Somebody has to get there. I'm looking at the spawn timers. Monkey's gonna spawn up, so they do have an opportunity to get the touch, but they need to fend off optic side of the map as well. So this is going to be huge. A nail bite of a round Mental. He's gonna be able to get one. Goes for the reaction shot. He's finally taken out Monkeys. He goes for the cap. 209, Ghost Gaming. How are they gonna be able to hold this one off? This is gonna be a nail bite. You're going to have to keep Optic Gaming from even capping the hill. It's going to be forever and a day on a fight here at the Sea Hill. As soon as they cap it, it's over. As soon as they cap it, it's over. So you got to stay in there. You got to keep fighting. 
This is gonna be a Royal Rumble here, folks. You're gonna get into that ring, and if you don't get thrown out over the top rope, it ain't over. Oh my God, Praise. Solars, Explosive, they're all pushing up. They need to get the decap. Look at the score calling. All Optic does is need a cap praise. Take it out by Sleeper. Optic, you're going to fall. Mental's taking out Summons. Solars, he's trying to make a play. Full red, Explosive. He's going to get one. Oh my God, Ghost. They're making it happen with the comeback. Luckily for them, Summons, he sneaks behind enemy lines again. He is going to get the cap. So this round, I got to breathe. I got to breathe. Summons. Summons with the highest of IQ plays right here, right now. He said, hey, look, you be the distraction. You make the smoke work happen. You be the magic show. I'm going to be the magician. I'm going to go over to that BL. I'm going to get the decap as soon as I get it. 2-10, a round win. We're right back into this thing. They are one round away from getting the tie, going into half and PR. The crowd might have been cheering. But it might, it might turn on them here shortly. Ghost Gaming needs to keep this crowd on their side. They need to keep the crowd hyped. They need to keep the noise loud because that, they can feed off that energy, PR. Yeah, and I, I, need, I need to cast my breath. Ghost Gaming right there. And that was one heck of, of a hold right there, trying to do what they can. Summon's able to sneak behind off a of respawn because of Solars and Explosive wasting so much time right there. Ghost Gaming was unable to get the kills. So another initial here, 22 second respawn times. Ghost Gaming, they're gonna be the aggressors towards that boom shot. Mental, he's gonna back out for just a little bit. Desonite's actually gonna get the pick. Nades in the hands of Sleeper as well. So a couple of trades, so it is a 4v4. And he gets a huge boom shot kill again, but unfortunately for them, that's gonna leave Identifs all by himself. And if they get this kill, it's gonna be a 2v2. And you know what, Identifs ain't scared. He ain't afraid. He's gonna bounce around. He's gonna try to make something happen. He took forever to die. So now, here comes the reinforcements. The troops for Ghost Gaming will rally around, get some shots on him, get the noise out. The Hammerverse picked up by Monkeys over there in that mid-cut area. So he's gonna rotate over to the B side of their side. He's gonna rotate to their side of the B hill. They're gonna get their options stacked up to get ready to play a little bit of defense here. Yep, and, and you see the push, the overhead map. Optic Gaming looking to set up a little bit towards B. You have a guy on the west courtyard step, so that's gonna be three total while one caps the hill. Optic, they're gonna look to make a push towards B is, is what they normally look to do. They smoke across, get the decap, and then from there, it all depends on what looks they get from the Ghost Gaming squad, whether they push down, continue the cap, and back up. Uh, but with Boomshot being up in a minute, it, Optic has to make this choice quick. We well, see Explosive, he's gonna survey the situation. There's no better field general. That man can actually survey this whole map as soon as he gets any marks from his teammates. He's gonna say, all right, boys, here's the push. Let's overload this side. We'll get one or two kills. We'll get that secondary boom shot. And then we'll ride, baby, ride. So you see the fight will start here. The bullets are out, they're flying. The smokes will come next, and all hell will break loose. First kill, first two kills for Sleeper. Make a third by Desonide. Boom shot is also coming up, but it is 22 second respawn rounds. They're gonna look to get this kill on Mental and Solars, but smart by Chaos, he's backing out. Wasn't going to let him get a 1v1, so five dead on the side of Optic Gaming. So Ghost have an opportunity here with these long respawn rounds to make it happen. Explosive, he's gonna be the only one to get the touch in the beginning. Actually, not even gonna be able to get that touch, so four to two, Ghost. Gaming showing up here in our Losers Finals. Oh yeah, Ghost Gaming, they're gonna feed off this energy. They're not slowing down at all. Four to two as you go in the half. And if you're Ashes, you gotta settle them down. You know that they're gonna get mad. You know that they're already mad. They lost it an now. You can't let that anger turn into a haze for them. Their anger has to be channeled. It has to be focused rage. It's okay if you punch the wall, but it's a hell of a lot better if you punch straight through it. And that's what they gotta do. They gotta find a wall that they can knock down. Yep, right now, going into this next map. We are at halftime, ladies and gentlemen, so our hills are going to swap. Weapons are gonna be wiped off the map, and our respawn timers are gonna drop back down to 12 seconds. So Optic have another chance. They're just gonna start with a two-round disadvantage, but we're gonna leave. We're gonna continue where we left off in half number one as a bloodbath continues. Summons and Identifs getting kills for their respective teams. But the hill control over at E is going to go in favor of Optic Gaming. But Summons looks like he's caught out of position for a moment. Sleeper getting that kill on Summons. Praise, he's going to try and save his teammates. Gets one full red. He's going to be forced to back up because the numbers are not in Optic's favor. So this is a good opportunity for Ghost to push up through E, get Billy out of there, and then continue it going. 
And look at the Lancer fire coming cross out. Desert Knight's gonna go down quick. Here comes Sleeper. He's gonna come on that flank. So now you see Sleeper push in, try to get a kill, but he's gonna be full red. Optic Gaming playing a great game there with the initial damage, but it doesn't matter because Ghost Gaming just too strong. Chaos with his own double kill to his name. And I'm telling you, PR, they might have fended him off for now, but there's still three members right there. They gotta keep playing defense. They gotta keep their Lancers out. Yeah, you said three. Chaos said two. Chaos said one. Chaos said none as he picks up a triple kill for Ghost. And this is exactly what Ghost needs to do. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Chaos causing his namesake. Chaos on the map, killing everyone and everything in his way. Opening up the lanes for Optic Gaming to fly through. And he's closing them just as quick. He says, no, sir, not today. This is our map one. They want to go up 1-0 in this series, and you can definitely tell. Optic Gaming starting to make a little bit of a comeback in this round. The hill or the lead isn't too much to come back from just yet. We are a 12 second respawn round, so anything can realistically happen. Identos trying to make this rotation to help Chaos get there just in time to put down a lot of Lancer fire. And it's exactly what I talked about. Identos, he can be the slayer. He can be the support player. He can be the guy that gets a double kill with just a pistol, but he's not gonna be that guy today because he has the help from the rest of Ghost Gaming as more members of Optic Gaming continue to fall. Score is still gonna go in favor of Optic, and as long as they get the, at least one hill uncontested at all times, they will win off of one. So here we go. You see the two. The, you see those two hills in favor of Optic Gaming. They're gonna do their best to hold on to it while they continue to create chaos around the map. But Ghost Gaming will get the decap on D, and you see a kill there from Solars. That's a big kill for him. He's gonna have to rotate across over there to that D hill. They're gonna have to try to keep pressure on it. But you see Dezo making the smart play, rolling back. He can actually survey anywhere. It doesn't matter what hills they get, as long as they can keep their home, they will win this round. Pr. Uh -oh. This is looking dangerous. Desonite, he's going to have to make a good hold along with the rest of his team. Does look like it's going to be a 3v3 optic. Forced to push in seven seconds before it's too late. Only two members look like they're going to be able to get a chance. Summits, last member alive. He is taken out. So once more, Ghost Gaming are making it happen here. Ladies and gentlemen, we talked about it before this match. 17-0 optic gaming over Ghost. But this is a new Ghost squad. This is the rebirth. This is the reborn identifs bringing it back to Latin America, making it happen with a 5-2 lead in map number one of our losers finals. Just when you thought Ghost was dead, Sleepy gone, Rushy's gone, Speedy gone. All of a sudden, rising from the ashes like a phoenix, a triumphant return of Ghost Gaming. Two Gears of War Esports, and they are putting on the best show for our fans. We have an ole, ole, ole chant in the crowd right now, led by our one and only Fallout. He's getting into it. He just hushed him. There he goes. He's getting them hype again. Look at this crowd. It's packed in here. It is a capacity crowd. They're on their feet. They want Ghost Gaming to take this bad boy home. I want to give a shout out to Sleeper right now. 18 kills. This is the guy you normally see getting down. Maybe in these fights, making it happen from a back spawn as well. So we're gonna continue on to where we left off, kinda. Yeah. They're coming back to us. I believe off of listening. PR, you see the kills coming out. And we can still hear the comms in our ears, but it tells me that the chaos is real. It tells me that they're flying around the map. They're trying to make sure that they can get these last two members of Optic Gaming down and out. You see four dead, all up to the soldier himself, praised, trying to make something happen, trying to fend off these massively huge pushes from Ghost Gaming. And Praise is going to fall as well. Ghost Gaming, they're continuing the steamroll over Optic right now, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are surprised. Optic have four members trying to push out, backs up against the wall there for a moment. They're fighting for their lives to stay alive here. Lots of crossfire, multiple members of Optic are put full red by these members of Ghost. This one intense matchup. No, no, the Lancer fire, the marks. So Optic Gaming finally gets on the board by getting their home hill. 
And PR, even though it feels like this round has been going on for a while, we're just barely past 50 points in it. There is still plenty of time to make some rotations. There's still plenty of time to get back into this one. But Monkeys, he wants to be the catalyst. He's gonna get taken out. So we're gonna fly over to Identifibs, and you're gonna have to hope that he gets these marks off and gets this Lancer out. Look at the shot between him and Mental. He's gonna be full red, so he's gonna roll back toward the back of that furnace oh. area. Mental's gonna get taken out, though. Team Revive's back and forth, BR. I'm not sure who's gonna come out on top of this, but Explosive gets down and out for the third time. He's gonna go down, and then a kill on Solars. They are solidifying this round. If they can get summons and brace, that's gonna be it. And beat down the disrespect, the ultimate disrespect, the trash talk. He's letting them know, baby. He's letting them know. And I love it. By God, Ghost Gaming is beating up the gaming like a government mule. Oh my God. I'm gonna take a page out of Ryan Cole's book here. Every event needs to be in Mexico City. There is no disputing that right now, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd is getting hyped. Map point for Ghost Gaming over Optics. Something nobody expected to see. But on the flip side right now, Praise, only three kills. Oh my God, I couldn't imagine it. We're gonna go to a team listening with Ghost Gaming this round. We're gonna hook in with their comms. We're gonna let you hear how chaotic, how crazy, how frenzied it can be. And what we need is to get on board with... Me mataron en horno, tiene Nate. Tiene Nate. Nate la tiene Somon. Las Nate la tiene Somon y el Solus. No, no, no. Espera, 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 Drop shot, Solus. Yo voy a ir, voy a ir. Yo voy a ya no drop, shit, ya no drop, 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 ya Escúchame, el drop, el drop sale en 30 y las Nate también. Está bien. Déjame los Nate, dame. Aguas, aguas y pusha aquí mono. Ve, 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 ve con ellos, ve con ellos. Va a pushar aquí mono, lo más seguro. Salí 4 segundos, voy contigo mono cuando respargas. Y yo voy a coger Nate, no, 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 Lifel, Lifel, quédate ahí, yo voy a rotar las Nate. Ahorita, ahorita que salgan, yo me voy para allá. Tú, ¿qué es? Yo soy Corsair, yo soy Corsair. Cubre balcón, cubre balcón. Eso, eso, mejor si te cubre cuatro, yo cubro cuatro. Mira, 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 mira. Diez segundos, diez segundos drop, diez segundos drop. Diez segundos Nate. No, tengo como tres, tengo tres, tres, tres. Ok, voy a poner por el otro lado. Voy a caer. Le voy a ayudar a aquellos. Ya salió, ya salió la Nate. Y ya salió el drop, ya salió el drop. Escuchando, escuchando por el medio, cuatro. El Ifen tiene Nate, el Ifen tiene Nate. Buen dan, Dani, buen dan. No solo es aquí arriba. ¡Ese cae, papi! ¡Vete al medio conmigo! Te voy a dar la vuelta. Yo tengo Wampi, yo tengo Wampi. El Lifer tiene Wampi, el Lifer tiene Wampi. El Lifer, voy, voy, voy. 80-80. Tenemos drop. Está por ahí, está por ahí. No, por ahí. Ahí tiene drop, ahí tiene drop. Ahí tiene drop. La marca rojo, rojo, venta. Solo hay uno, solo hay uno. Nuestra parte, nuestra parte. Le doy, le doy. Otro balcón. Otro balcón. Meta, 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 meta. Frente mono, frente mono, frente mono, frente mono patio, frente mono patio. Buena, mono lo tumbó, mono lo tumbó. Les quedan dos drops, les quedan dos drops, les quedan dos drops. Le voy a lanzar humo, le voy a lanzar humo. Vaya, vaya. Voy para ahí, voy para ahí. Que ellos tienen dos, que ellos tienen dos en horno. Voy con ellos, voy con ellos. Vete, 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 v
tranquilo. No se lo te van a dar cross ya. No te dan entrar. Tenemos que seguir, tenemos que seguir. Yo tengo que ir para ahí. Yo tengo que ir para ahí. Pero mano Mario Balcón, mano Mario Balcón. Tenemos una rota, una rota. No pasa nada, no pasa nada. Unos mantos. No, en verdad, te lo juro, güey, fuera de pedo. Si yo mato a Solus ahí, la ropa se acaba. Es que ahí tienes que esperar porque tienes que estar muy guay. No sé, yo creo que y los tranquilos, estos de nosotros, son unos mancos, no saben qué están haciendo. Venga, venga, ganamos. Están perdidos. Vamos. Todo bien, todo bien, papi. Venga, vamos, vamos, vamos. Ladies and gentlemen, as they bring it back to us. Forget the pageantry, forget, forget the prize. I, 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 I had two people like on this spot Sorry, and I, I yeah. held them off for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We had two too. We got shot from. I, bro, we I got drop cock. We got drop cock and a kill. Bro, I had two of these kids 90%. Not kidding. I'm about to grab that marks up, by the way. Yeah, grab that shit. That shit keeps moving. It's annoying. What? A chair. <laughs> uh, my, my fucking hell. My camera. Look at it. Just move right side. The controller has that shit. I don't know what's going on. Alright, remember, Gil's gonna be on uh, marks. I think right. a little bit later. Yeah, it's gonna be a little later. Yo, he could have inside, right? He, yeah, he might have we have two here, we have two here. We have two, we have two. I'm about to throw a smoke. We have three, we have three. Guys, guys, if anything, let him get on the weapon. If anything, let him get on the weapon. Grab it. Yeah, go grab it. No, they threw. Yo, yeah, my cannon nice, 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 nice. Yo, middle, middle. Yo, 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 one of those middle. Yo, guys, guys, we're gonna get eagles. We're gonna get eagles. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Yo, where's his kill left side at? 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 Find him mid. Right, he backed up. He backed up. He's at your base. There's still looking at me, boys. Still looking at me. Still looking at me. I'm shooting that guy in the car. I'm shooting that guy in the car. I done him. Where's he coming off that? Don't get no shot. Don't get no shot. I'll take it. 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 Oh, that's fine, that's fine. One drop there, one drop there, one drop there. Oh, they're away. They're away. Oh, cap. Still here, still here, we'll be back. Hurt, hurt, that's all, hurt, that's all. Hurt, that's all, hold spot, you guys. Our hold spot is to play, our hold spot is to play. Hold spot is to play. I'm playing right, I'm playing right. They might be trying to find someone. Watch out, watch out, watch out. They want to go in, they want to go in right now, they want to go in. Go down, 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 down. Get in, get in, get in, don't worry about me. I'm playing baby, I'm playing baby. 76 on one guy, 76 on one. Try to get a break, try to get a break. Try to get a break, boys. Oh, he knows. Thank you. Oh. Watch out on me. Watch out, Cannon. Oh, I don't know, but I told you. I know, but you gotta tell me what you're gonna do. I said I'm gonna pick up the weapon. Bro, we don't, I guess we don't no, have no, no, no. to do anything, man. So Optic Gaming actually always didn't, always were outside of their numbers advantage. You never found a moment in that entire map where Optic Gaming had the numbers advantage. They were never wolf packing, but Ghost Gaming, you saw one, it was like they had clones of themselves. They were running a little, you know, TN clone shot. I mean, it was crazy. I've never seen Optic like that. You coach the former Ghost Gaming roster, you coached Identives. What's working so well for this Ghost Gaming team? They show no fear at all. Uh, a lot of teams have a different mentality sometimes in playing Optic. They second guess themselves. They might not make the best pushes, but this Ghost Gaming squad is showing no fear and it's showing exactly what you need to do, similar to how Denial beat Optic as well. And Ryan, you were watching, breaking down the entire match. Of course, you saw a couple weapons placed, boom shot and a drop shot, but ultimately it was all Ghost Gaming. Who's playing great for Ghost Gaming and who's maybe not doing their thing for Optic? Everyone is playing great on Ghost Gaming <laughs> right now. I, I think in the castles can probably agree. Honestly, those weapons placed on the map didn't have a ton of impact the whole way through because it was Ghost Gaming doing what they've been doing all weekend. Absolutely pushing with zero fear, shotgunning the hell out of everyone in sight. And honestly, this is a play style that usually we see Optic Gaming eat alive, but they are just getting absolutely obliterated right now. They are put on their toes, and we talked about this. When you put Optic Gaming on their toes is when they are at their most vulnerable. I talked about, I thought that we were going to get an angry Optic Gaming. I think we might be getting the flip side of that yin yang. It might be the tilted Optic Gaming, which, as we know, when it rains, it pours in Optic. Gilbert, or Explosive, starts getting very, very critical of his teammates. The vibes start getting very, very negative. And when they get tilted, that's usually when they see some losses. Let's take a look at your screen right now. Explosive look at the body language. His leg, body language as well. Of course, the meltdown of Optic Gaming, we saw it 
two Januarys ago in this exact city. Mexico City's when Optic Gaming lost. And of course, after that, made a big roster change and dropping Lava. And you almost feel like history is repeating itself. Now, now the question is, if Optic loses, right? Do they make another roster change? 100%. They, 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 they made the super team and what they As thought they should, was big enough Praise and Solars. But after Praise kind of fall, it, Praise was the flattest player I've Pra ever seen in kills. a Losers Finals. In a Losers Final in general or for the, Praise? The, it, no, in a Losers Final in wow. general. He is the flattest, that was the flattest performance I've ever Three seen. Three kills through eight rounds. For a player who a lot of us, we talk about this being the, the best five players in the game on this roster. Three kills through eight rounds. Not a performance you expect to see from a player like Praise, who is a multi-time champion, been in a billion grand finals. He needs to step up if this team is going to win. To answer your question, John, though, I think they give it one more event if they lose this. But I also would not be surprised by any means <laughs> if they do make a change. Because history pretty much shows if they lose out of land, someone is getting smoked. Pick a, pick <laughs> a franchise, imagine. Oh, please, my. You think please they're, you think please they're, they're, not yeah, they're knocking don't. on Kenny's door right now? Because Kenny was the master of preparation on the old Optic That's Gaming Squad. Point. Yep. And this Optic Gaming Squad had no preparation or little to none. I should say, not say no. Maybe Kenny's back. Yeah, well, we can assume all we want, but we still have some gameplay left. Does Optic have it in them? Do they have any gas left in that tank? Do they have any gold left in that Optic gold mine? Of course, we know them so well as being the fiercest titanium wall to ever exist. Of course, coated in green as that man right there praised all eyes on him. If I know anything about praise, I've known him for many years, he is a monster. You're about to see a big performance for him. Do you think it'll happen, Ryan? By the way, can we talk about monkeys? Monkeys has been playing phenomenal all weekend long and then gets over 20 downs. Okay, I know Praise on our screen now. We, were, <laughs> we just talked about Praise. Three kills through eight rounds. He cannot do that again. Monkeys. That, we, we talk, but I want to talk about Monkeys. Yep. Monkeys has been a, one of the, obviously one of the main slayers for this Ghost Gaming team. He's been getting crazy shotgun kills, but he shows us something new that we don't normally see out of him. Over 20 downs for a player who's usually in there. Heavy, heavy wall bouncer getting up in there your face, up ang you, reaction shotting you. Hell of a performance in map one. But again, there is a lot of tournament left to play. There's a lot of match left to play. Let's see how Optic Gaming bounces back now that their backs are against the wall. We don't ever see their backs against the wall like this. Of course, keep on map number two is going to be at Old Town. So that's a very interesting one. Of course, that match will be getting started here in a moment. But Old Town is an interesting one. We haven't seen a lot of Old Town. Uh, your thoughts on, on Old Town as a map PR? I know you've been watching a lot of it. Colin, feel free to share your thoughts as well. Oh, I, I like Old Town as a map. It spreads it out. The only downfall I see is a little bit of height advantage, but because of Escalation, it doesn't play as big of a, a role as Execution would. So I like Old Town as a map it, it, for any team here. Of course, Old Town will be the map. Ghost Gaming is the, the hot hand right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Ghost Gaming roster who is beloved by the fans. I don't know what it feels like to win. We just got in second, so we don't have any idea how it feels. And we want to know how it feels. To win would mean that all the work that we put in, like we, we worked their asses off this past month, month and a half, like all the work that we put in, like it wasn't for nothing. Like we want this bad, bad, bad. We have the home court advantage, so that's it. You know, in sports, home court advantage is a big deal, so. Boy, they want it bad, and of course, this fan base of thousands behind us want it just as bad. The Mexican and Latin American Gears of War community has gathered in droves here, live at the World Trade Center in Mexico City. And boy, what an event it has been, and what a display of Gears of War esports. Optic Gaming against Ghost Gaming on the brink of elimination. Ryan, I'll leave it to you. Map is loading up here. Any final thoughts coming into Map 2, or do you think we're going to see a 2-0 Ghost? You know... Based on what I just saw, my heart wants to say that Ghost is going to put them away. That being said, keep in mind, this is Optic's map pick. This was Ghost's map pick in map one. So Optic feels confident on this map. This is a different map pick than we saw in their last series. So they got to put out all out on the line here and show us why they are the most dominant team in history and see if they can uphold that. All right. Well, the map is Old Town. If you're a fan of historic Gears of War, of course, back in Gears of War 3, this is one of our predominant execution maps this time being played on Escalation, a fun one for sure. Three lanes, right, left, and center. Height advantage for the Swarm team, slight height advantage that is. And of course, a new Escalation map in season two. Optic Gaming will have to pull some magic here to change their story, to rewrite history, and defeating this Ghost Gaming mega squad here who has the entire Mexico City 
squad behind them. Of course, PR and Belly, or sorry, PR and Colin, I love you, buddy. We'll be leading the way here. Take it away, gentlemen. We're brothers anyway, PR, doesn't matter. Belly and I are brothers. Everybody knows that he's a bro my brother from another I, I, I get you guys confused. All. You guys almost look exactly alike. So, Twinsies. Uh, Twinsies. Uh, 100%. So going into this match, map number two, Ghost Gaming with the upper hand with a map victory. Optic looking to strike back, but already Ghost Gaming with first blood. Identives returning with a vengeance. Yeah, Identives is coming out here, getting that meat shield, getting that pistol down. They're going to look over toward that middle market. And once you can get that cross in, you can help your teammates. You can really solidify that position, the kills, the hills, and you can push for a possible triple. Oh my god, monkeys. Summits. He's used to that 1v1 player, the one that is left all by his lonesome when the team tends to fall. Uh, he's like 99 pointed, narrowly escaping Solars. He's gonna try to pick up a kill on Dezenide. So Optic Gaming looking to make some sort of a comeback push here. They have the upper hand for just a moment, especially with the man advantage. You can expect them to push in towards B with this man advantage. So you see here Optic, they're gonna overload this B hill, this back street side. Smokes come out, they're trying to hide their numbers. That fourth member of Optic through the X-ray. Over there in the middle market, Braves bouncing around, explosive though, mad hurt. He's gonna have to take a seat for just a second, try to get his health back. DC Sleeper roll out there. And that's amazing. So you see the kills coming out. They're going to be able to take over this back street area. And they're going to be able to catch up quickly in points. But Identity is going to take out Summon Solars. Bit of an overextension here, trying to get this hill in their control. But he will get cleaned off the map and killed. But it looks like somebody's playing a little hide and go seek down there at the bottom of the map. Yep. Optic able to make something out of nothing here in this round. We saw them go down early, but now they're making this comeback, trying to angle out two members of Optic Mental. He, he's not even really taking any damage from this Lancer or this pistol. He's just bouncing around, making moves. Sleeper, he's forced back. I've never seen somebody stay alive this red before, and he's going to fall, but Optic Gaming trying to make a little Mr. Krabs happen as they get three hills in their favor for just the short moment now. Ghost with a man advantage, looking to push down B, just like Optic did, pushing upwards towards B. It's gonna be the same type of push, but downward. They're gonna come down that hill. It's gonna be a 2v1 explosive playing his life. But he gets that big shot off on Sleeper over that cover. He's gonna take another one, Identus now. Gonna have to try to defend himself, but not enough. Couldn't keep his hands up. Got a haymaker, went down and out. So explosives gonna clear them off, playing that 2v1 beautifully if I do say so myself. Yeah, if we look at the score, especially with Identus being forced to spawn up, and, and somebody from Optic is actually, uh, actually, I mean, Monkeys is trying to make something happen on the low side of the map, but he's all by himself. Ghost, they're going to have to make one organized push here if they're looking to make anything happen, but I don't even think it's going to be that as Chaos is taken out early as well. Identus, Sleeper, Des and I, the only three members alive, and I just don't think they have the position on the map to make anything happen. They're going to get Identus down. A little bit of a long spawn because of the fact that they were stunned, so they just watched him sit on his knees, and there they go. The round will end. Optic Gaming will get their first round. It took them a whole three minutes. This is not the Optic Gaming we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing domination out of them. So Identus talking to his teammates, him and the coach, Demizen, getting some uh, good chatter in, looking around, trying to talk this out. You see Identus shaking his head, scratching his chin. What may or may not have happened in that first round, we got to forget about it. Let's put down an M bar. Let's make it happen, Captain. Yep, and, and to be honest, I, I like it from Ghost Gaming because where you saw them excelling in fights on Slab, it was these close quarter shotgun fights, and this is going to be something similar. You, you're still going to have the guy capping home. It's still going to be a 2-2, but it's going to be more loose. And, and teams might even spend a third player over there. As you look at the overhead map, it's going to be four over, and I do believe that is from Optic, right? And uh, Yeah, a heavy overload from Optic. I mean, they actually, it's almost like running a trick strat where you're just making sure that you can get the kill easily in your favor. Get that hill and that M-bar out. is gonna be called out. You see Identus trying to Lancer across to get a down, but it will not come through. So you see how long it's taking Optic or Ghost to break this little setup right here in the back street. Chaos rolls in, tries to go across the hill, pushes up, tries to get a kill, but Spark plays out of summons to stay hidden in that corner, but Identus has the perfect angle on him, and now they're able to push up straight up on Solars if they like to, but Solars is gonna back up, try to keep that M-bar safe. 
Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of swap coming out as well. Swoller swapping it no. with one of his teammates on Optic. They waste a little bit of time. You look at the middle of the map where the overhead, but I, I said wasting time, but that's gonna be Mental putting it to use. We all know what Mental could do with these precision weapons. Sleeper, however, is gonna stop Optic in their traps, getting a double kill. He's pushing up for more, and this is the guy I saw him last map, over 20 kills. Gets a nice back A. He did his job, though. He damaged both of those players enough to where it's an easy down for Dezenide. Easy plays for the rest of the members of Ghost Gaming, and another triple cap coming out so they're tying up one to one and this has been one heck of a match roller coaster is the only way to describe it up and down and up and down every time you think optic might find their footing might be able to take advantage ghost gaming answers the bell and they swing back with full force it is one to one I'm curious what Optic's gonna do here in between rounds. I think they're gonna end up putting down a secondary, something to maybe help out Gilbert, maybe our explosive, let him get something in his hands. And as we take a look, that's what we will have, a hammer burst. Go down on that back street, which is gonna make them oh so deadly. Shooting downhill, shooting uphill, it don't matter. That hammy can do some work, baby. Yeah, somebody from Optic, I, I might be explosive, is going to grab that hammer burst. Uh, I'm almost positive, that's why they put it down. But as I say that, I am wrong. Well, you know what, Caster's curse. That's the way life is, all right? <laughs> Sometimes you say something, you look like an idiot. Now you just look like me, that's all. Now you can look like me, that's all, PR. You look dumb. Fine. We all live there. Fortunately for Solars, he does get that M bar. So almost similar round we saw before, and he's going to put it to use quickly, taking out Sleeper. So two kills, two M bar kills. And we saw him kind of switch it over to Mental before. I can expect that same thing from Optic once he gets an opportunity at least. But he's doing his job with it. Getting Monkeys full red. That way Praise can kind of finish up that kill. But Dezenide and Identives, the dynamic duo for this new Ghost Gaming spot, making it happen, saving B side of the map. Even though it was Solars who got away with it. And Solars who was making plays. Optic Gaming just seemed to fall left and right. Yeah, they're getting taken on the map, wiped clean. Dezo rolls back to get that hammy, try to come back into that B Hill area, give his teammates some help, because as the respawns for both teams come off, get ready for this next push, you see the setup coming out. You see the marks, you see the hammy fire over the top of that cover through the X-ray. Dez and I trying his best to get them down and damage to make it easier on sleep for now. But he's not yet to get it down. He keeps rolling back with the Lancer fire coming over top from somebody else on Ghost Gaming. Dez and I trying to make it happen. He's in a 1v1 now with Summons, but Summons will body him on that back cubby wall. Both players with full red in there. Dez and I trying to make a play. Now somebody from Ghost Gaming is kind of stuck in that same position. Monkeys, he's on the other side of the map. We talked about his amazing performance this weekend. Already five kills, five downs. Keeping up the support while still maintaining his ability to slay. And, and to me, that's a big part of the success of Ghost Gaming that we've seen thus far in this matchup. But Optic Gaming, finally, they're showing some life and, and they're showing it consistently here as another round does look like it's going in their favor so far. But that's the M bar in about 20 seconds is going to respawn. And guess who's in position for it? It is Optic. Oh, Optic's already got summons over there and they have a member down here. That Sleeper's, Sleeper's going to be only one down into this life. If he goes down two more times, he'll just be wiped off the map. Summons with his Lancer out. Dezo trying to push in on him. He bounces back and forth. He's going to be full red. Taken down now. The push comes through. Identives gets a big kill, but he's still stuck between a rock and a hard place. He's going to have to find out where to go because Summons is still fighting off this onslaught. Here comes Mental. Up A's around the corner. Nothing. Monkeys gets hit once with that M bar, but it is not a heady. Identives will go down. You got to get that kill. You got to clean him off the map because I've said it once. I'll say it again. Identives is the head of the snake for Ghost oh Gaming. My. <laughs> that shot was amazing. Damn. That was talent. But look at the score. Uh, Colin, it's close. Ghost Gaming is coming out on top again. Optic Gaming seem to be running most of this round, but it takes one bad play or one yep, good man. play on the side of Ghost Gaming to make it happen. But as I'm saying that, go or Optic, picking up a couple kills, that's going to put him in prime position to be able to push up B and potentially decap that. If I didn't know better PR, I would say that crowd support makes your shotgun hit a little harder because it seems like every shot is true. It seems like everything's a concrete block instead of a brick, boy. Identus, uh, uh, he, he, for a moment, he's trying to put Lance of Fire down, but four members of Optic kind of wolf packing in towards B. And, and since there's four people there and they're winning the fight, you can expect them to continue to push up. That's Lee Dezenide. He's going to do what he can, trying to waste some time. He's going to finally get taken out. Monkeys, he's on the map somewhere, trying to be a distraction. That is a really good play, especially with Sleeper spawning up. And he's not even going to stop there. He knows what he needs to do. This is brilliant by Monkeys. But unfortunately, a Lancer is waiting for him on the other end. So Optic Gaming are the only ones getting points right now. And it doesn't look like anybody's really in position to get any breaks. 
no, it seems like everybody's caught in no man's land, even if Ghost gets off spawn to be able to get back to their home. Monkeys is caught in Optic Gaming spawn, and they dominate round number three. After about a minute and a half, it was like they found their footing, they found their stride. It all started, though, once you kill identives, it's a whole different ball game for Ghost Gaming. I really believe the brains that he brings from playing with some of the players that he's played with in the past, the mentality he brings, if you wipe him off the map, kind of like chickens running around with a head cut off, you just got to pick him off one by one. So if I'm Optic Gaming, I keep trying to progress my, my numbers to get identives dead. You got to keep him off respawn. Uh, I'm seeing these weapons being hovered over. I saw Boom being hovered over at Bell Tower, but to be the nades in the middle market, and I don't disagree with it because right now, Optic's sending four people over time and time again towards that M bar. So now they can't realistically put all four people over on that side of the map because they risk getting nated or group nated that you saw Chaos with a huge triple kill in rounds before. So that's the potential to happen again. And Optic Gaming knows that you see two people going middle this time around. Yeah, they're going to go send two in there. They're going to try to get these smokes out, try to get this positioning, try to make sure that nobody can see sight lines. You got to muddy the waters a little bit. You can't let them get freelancers across. You see Sleeper and Monkey. They are caught in an area where there is no smoke protection, and Mental had a free chance to shoot across, and now he's got the frag, so he can rotate those wherever he so pleases to try to help get yet more kills in favor of Optic Gaming. Wow, Mental, he really didn't even get that down. I thought he was going to get that down and then nade the kill. But multiple members dead from each team. Right now, Optic does have the upper hand for just a short moment. And they already have their people over towards B, so it's a little bit of a 2v2. The only difference maker right now is the top, they're the getting top, flanked the as well. Big time flank coming out. I love the call out, the, game, the IGL explosive saying, hey, look, I'm here. Let's go ahead, pinch, pincer, pincer, pincer. Identives on that cover, explosive. That had to be a misclick. That had to be a misclick. That had to be a misplay. He is no way he wanted to hop over that cover in that instance unless he was assured he was going to get that little kick, maybe to get that execution off or get a shot off. Probably went for a little bit of a, a reaction shot, up A, wraparound shot. That's where you up A the cover. You press right or left depending on which side you want to shoot the shot at and RT at the same time. You got to do it a little quick and that allows you to shoot your shot around the corner and continue to run forward. And I love nothing more than shooting my shot. You see two hills in favor of Ghost Gaming. They're gonna have map control right here, and they're gonna be able to keep this onslaught of Optic Gaming from coming downhill. Look at this, Desenite on that corner. Mental tries to push up, and it's shut down swiftly. So Desenite, even though he's down, nobody really has a chance to pick up the kill. Now Solars will finally do it, but he'll also be down by all the Lancer fire, and then Monkeys comes in from behind and gets a kill. So even though they got to pick one off, they're just not able to get their feet underneath them, and Praise will go down as well, leaving Summons all by himself with 6% health. If I'm, if I'm Ghost Gaming, I'm flying to that home hill. I'm going to go ahead and push it, put the pressure on, baby. Kind of yeah, multiple suck. members of Ops Gaming spawning up. So it's not going to be over just yet. Mental Explosive, the duo that has been here for a long time, trying to defend their home hill from the onslaught that is Optic Gaming. Explosive, he's put full red. Mental forced to back up as well. This looks like a, a Ghost Gaming. They're actually going to be backing up. They're going to go ahead and set up. And if you look at the score call, they do win off one. They have nades. They have the potential to get drop charge and bar that is going to be up as well. So right now, everything looks to be going in Ghost Gaming's favor, especially since Optic has to make a push, not at one, but two hills at the same time. Yes, or not, it's 50% health, finally getting down. So I believe the M bar will be off map. All those nades, though, for nothing. They throw them both and don't get a single kill. But Dezo getting wiped off the map, the B-Hill going in favor of Optic Gaming, and I think Explosive made the call. Hey, look, I got one on this bell tower side. Let's go ahead, 2v1 him and get out of here. Mental's going to get marked, though, from that middle market area, so he's going to fly down through there. He might take his fight. He's getting on that cover. He's really trying to help his teammate right here. Very quick shots coming out from him, trying to make sure that fight is easy as possible while they continue to push toward that home hill. Sleeper won the 1v1 and gets Explosive. That opens it up on the home hill. Even though Optic Gaming was not able to break Ghost Hill, even if they did, that was Sleeper. That was a huge fight. It, big picture, it doesn't mean nothing because everyone on Ghost Gaming won their fights, but if everyone lost but Sleeper, Ghost Gaming still wins that round. Yeah, that's a big time play as we hover over our crowd here hushed with bated breath as they wait for their hometown favorite and as they are riled up by the idea of a ghost gaming win you will hear the cheers and the jeers coming in the energy level will get higher and higher as we progress it will be a true game of escalation because the emotions will rise in continuation with the rounds it'll get tighter in here everybody Waiting to see who can win this one. We're going to take a look at this overhead map. One second left with the boom shot will be placed. 
at the bell tower. I like that play PR. I like that idea. They're going to put down that boom shot, and they're going to throw smokes. They're going to try to get loose. They're going to make it about an ash or close range battle. They're going to make them beat them heads up. I, I agree with it if you're opting, to be honest, because anything short of a boom or a drop shot on that side of the map will not change up the fight. So now it's going to force four to five members over, whether it's either going down bell tower or going down middle to see a split. That's four on the side of Optic Gaming fighting in that bell tower, though. So a free flank from Sleeper on that kill in the middle on Mental, but Mental, he's going to come out on top. Summons, he's also going to get the boom as well, even though he does go down. Optic Gaming coming out strong in this round. Uh, Mental, Mental just did something that uh, you don't really see that often. That's somebody just absolutely embarrassed two members of a top talent team like Ghost Gaming there in that middle market. Chaos is going to have to run for his life. He's going to be hiding. Praise is going to be looking. Here comes the Lancer Fire, the snub over top of the head. They're going to get the down, pick him up. So while you've got A hill in your favor, you might going to get the B hill. The spawns are a little bit longer. You're able to set up Identity Sleeper and Chaos still on respawn for Ghost Gaming. And I believe Praise is going to rotate up here and try to help out his teammate at that hill. He throws one frag. That could get a kill. No, it's a little too far. Second frag in. Empire shot through the smoke. Explosive gets him. Right now, Monkey, he's doing what he can in this tunnel. <laughs> Lots of missed shots. And that's the story of Monkey putting on a show, making it a difficult kill. It's not free for him. Multiple members of Optic Gaming are coming out on top. Ghost, they need to trade these kills out, and they're not going to be able to do that. So that's five dead on the side of Ghost. So Optic Gaming finally gaining some momentum in this matchup, beginning to pull ahead. I, I do believe this is one of their first leads, or, or not their first, but in this map is the first time they led, because I don't think they led all last map. Uh, they led one to nothing at the beginning of this map. That was their first lead. <laughs> no, I'm talking about last map. Oh, yeah, no, I don't believe they had a lead at all in last map. Um, Look, I don't want to get it twisted, though. People might think shooting down that hallway is easy. It might be like shooting fish in a barrel, but people are bouncing back and forth. It's crazy. Their movement is so fast. You really got to be pristine. You really might sometimes have to hold your shot and guess when he's going to stop, where he's going to have to take that position and then try to chunk him right there. Ghost Gaming, though, did an amazing job of wreaking havoc for as long as they can. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a little bit of a wave started here in the arena. I saw it flare up behind me. They're waving in the air, trying to get hype, trying to get Ghost Gaming back in this one, get them fully focused on the task at hand. So another round, 22 second respawn round. So in theory, whoever wins this initial should win this round. Desonide, first blood on Solars, that is big. He is out for 22 second sleeper. He's gonna pick up those frags, so this could be a good opportunity for Ghost to come out on top. Praise, he's gonna even it up. Two nades going out from Slaver, both are duds, so bad nades on the side of Ghost Gaming, so Boomshot is gonna be picked up easily by Optic. Like I said, whoever wins this round usually, or whoever wins the initial usually wins the round, especially on the 22 second respawn rounds. I wanna take a quick note and say, if you saw Explosive rotate back over to help make sure that he could get that boom shot out for free, he literally went over there to body block some Lancer bullets and to make sure that if he went down, he could get the oh. pickup. But Mental killing Explosive, Summons is gonna get that even out yeah. though because the team kill was huge and then Mental gets taken off the map. Summons, though, using that rocket launcher to the best of his ability, that boom shot, baby. Making fireworks happen on 4th of July. He's gonna be in a 1v1 with some Lancer Fire finally coming in from overhead. He's gonna finish him off. So three members wiped off again. Look at this, the rounds that Optic Gaming have the advantage. Look who's dead right there in the middle. Look at that. Dead him so almost every time, you're right. He, he's the one that gets taken down, but Sleeper. Going for a little bit of up A, Chaos taken out as well. Identif is going to spawn up with Dezenite. If anybody is going to be able to do it for this team, it is going to be these two. Dezenite missing a little bit of an easy shot to Summons. He's going to capitalize on that one. Identif, he's doing what he can, but his back is up against the walls. So Monkey's on respawn. Monkey's saving it again, but can he be the savior? No, he cannot. Summons shutting him down. Optic Gaming, 4-2. Finally, this is the Optic we have been waiting to see. I wasn't sure if Summons decided to put make a little YouTube video right there. He bounced around. He was having fun. Oh, my goodness gracious. He's getting loose all of a sudden. Summons is starting to feel himself. Last thing you want to do is give Summons that confidence that he can push and take anybody so wishes. This is where it's going to get interesting because we're on halftime right now, Colin. You know what that means? That means the hills are going to swap. Weapons are going to be wiped off the map, and respawn timers are going to go back down to 12 seconds. The thing is about this side is it's going to play very, very similar to how they were just playing that boom shot fight because of the hill's location that is now located at Bell Tower. So that E-Hill, that fight that Optic Gaming has been winning late in the first half, 
will swap over there, and it'll now be for control of a hill. So you see Optic Gaming influencing the map early. They they tried to test out that belt, belt tower fight. It worked in their favor. They know second half they can keep winning that belt tower, get that E-Hill easy. So they're going to start off this second half with a two-to-one hill lead and the points. But it's short respawns, so anything can happen at any given moment at the drop of a hat. Monkeys, that was actually good by Optic, forcing Monkeys to back up. That's when Sleeper got taken out by Mento, but Ghost Gaming seemed to be falling all around. Monkeys, he's trying to make some rotations. He's trying to stay alive. He's trying to waste some time, but a big kill like that on Explosive, exactly what Ghost needs. He's full red, and he's still putting out damage. Monkeys, if I got to say anybody is an MVP, it's got to be him or Identum's on the side of the Ghost Gaming squad, at least. Get the fuck up, man. Is it MVP or MVM, most valuable monkey? I'll tell you right now, that man is going through this game, playing it to perfection. He is doing everything in the world. They told me a few events ago that Monkeys was the guy that didn't mind getting his hands dirty. He didn't mind doing the dirty work for the team. But now with Identives there, as you can see, with somebody that's got that slaying capability, it frees him up. It takes the chains off. He's ready to fly, baby, fly. He's ready to do exactly what he needs to do to get these kills to help secure rounds for his team. And I love the way Ghost Gaming is playing. They have gotten a little bit of momentum here. They've gotten that E-Hill back. But PR, D, and F in the favor of Optic. Optic, they, they saw that no one was really there. Everybody was kind of stacked up over towards the east side. The remaining members of Ghost were on respawn, so they were able to easily push up towards D, gain control of that, and then immediately, as soon as the rest of their team saw it, they rotated up, but Ghost, this is their push. They're making it happen. Identifies he's going to get the captain of Optic, and that's explosive going down. Monkey's getting a kill as well. A third is going to fall, so that's a double kill for Monkey's. Desonite on the lower side of the map. He's in prime position to start to this triple cap right now, especially if he comes out on top. He doesn't need to die. He doesn't even need to make a play. He just needs to stay alive and put out damage. Luckily for Solars, he's going to get that kill on Desonite and basically halter this right Miss now for just the time being. If you look at the score right now, Optic Gaming have the advantage that we're able to win off of one, but they're pushing up. They don't want to win off one. They want to win off two or more. Well, you know how it is, VR. You got to apply pressure. This ain't just a song and dance to them. They want to make sure that Ghost Gaming knows that they are still here. They are still the undisputed champions. They are the ones that will be going to winner's finals. They're trying their hardest to get back there. So you see Solar's doing everything he can, get that DNF bill back in their favor. 198, 199. Identives running right up, head down, gets that kill. But it won't matter because there's that magic number. And there's another round. And this is where this map, Old Town, kind of suits a team like Optic Gaming. But even though they can go in and they can have 1v1 shoddy fights and kind of bang with the best of them, they're the team that kind of specializes in team fire and crossfire time and time again. You know, Ghost trying to run in. They're trying to go head down with their shotguns, but Optic mulling back, getting that Lancer fire and stopping everybody in their tracks. But if you look at this weapon placement, Colin, Ghost, all the confidence trailing five to two. They're gonna throw that boom shot down, and this is gonna change the fight to a fight that they like. You're gonna see four, three or four people over there every time. I said it earlier today. Familiarity breeds comfortability. They are familiar with that backstreet fight. They were winning it in the first half of this map. They're gonna put that boom shot there, and they're gonna get it back in their favor. I said Prade is probably having one of the flattest performances in a loser's final that I have experienced, but he had picked it up here. Credit to him for showing up when it matters, but Identum stunned, not able to get the revive, so another double kill by the man I was just talking about and praised. Solars, he's gonna get his hands on that boom shot, so Optic Gaming are looking to close this round out. They're looking to fly over toward that bottom half of the street. Monkeys and Chaos are gonna have to do everything in their power to win that E-Hill, but Bentel is the member of Optic Gaming that is over there, getting ready to engage this fight. He's gotten one already, can he get the second? If he bodies the 2v1, It'll be impressive, but he does not. He'll get taken out. So there at the E-Hill Monkeys playing the savior role yet again for Ghost Gaming. Monkeys, 19 kills, 14 downs, explosive. He's going to go to push up along with Praise triple cap. Does look like he's going to be in the favor of Optic Monkeys. He's going to try and make a play. He does get the reset for just a moment, but it's not going to be enough. But luckily for him, on the other side of the map, they're fighting for the decap on F. Chaos. He is going to die, but he did what he needed to do. He got the decap. Now it's up to Ghost Gaming. They need to trade out these kills here and get the decap touch. Sleeper, he's going to go in and get that touch. He's going to reset it. A little bit of a brawl going down. He's going to go for it one more time. He puts full red on Solars, but he's going to go down. Solars making a statement here. That brick wall, that green wall is going to hold. So six to two is what the score should be. Ghost Gaming are falling. Optic Gaming, the angry Optic Gaming that we thought we were going to see has finally showed up here. On the back of 
my main man, Solars. He sat there on that hill. He knew the whole world was gonna collapse on him. He stood strong, he stood tall. He took shot after shot, got downs, got kills. He did everything in his power, which allowed for his teammates to rotate all the way back there from the E-Hill, help them off a of top street, and secure the sixth round in favor of Optic Gaming. They are at that point possibly ready to send it to a map number three. Here we go. This this is a big round for Ghost Gaming. They need to take it slow. They need to take it round by round. On the other hand, Optic Enemy Gaming spot. doing everything right. They don't really need to change up much. Four over to the other side. They put Billy in the middle because this is the guy for Optic Gaming who can get out of almost every situation and get kills, but Desenide for Ghost. Gonna pick up a nice double kill over on the boom shot side of the map. That gives Monkeys and Sleep for the go-ahead. They kind of play safe, not get trapped by Metal. They're gonna get him down. Nades in the hands of Monkeys as well. Five dead for Optic, but Solar's gonna go ahead and spawn up, so it's not over just yet. Like a bit of a Kleenex, they wipe them clean. They are going for the ability to get that home hill, that opposite home hill, and the E hill in their favor. Sleeper knows that he's about to get pushed, so he might have to roll out here. The triple cap being threatened, easily denied though, because Sleeper rotated all the way out, trying to play his life. He's trying to be smart here. Look at him, he's gonna continue to rotate. I think he's waiting for a little bit of help. Explosive trying to hunt him down. Solar's right on top of him as well. Solar's gonna get down and out. Explosive is finally gonna get one. He will clean Sleeper, he knows though, there was another member of Ghost right there in front of him. Desenide shutting Shut down fire. Explosive yet again. It was a long time story. It, it, this is a little bit too soon, Desenide. You're all by your lonesome. It, this could be dangerous. You do have a lead, 55 to zero and counting. Optic gave me an opportunity to spawn up on the other side of the map, Monkeys. Adenims with the boom shot as well. They're looking to hold down Optic Gaming's home hill. We see all five with this X-ray cam from Optic. So Adenims just active reloading that boom shot. Goes for the first one cross map. Gonna be able to pick up summons. Not anything with that second one. And that's something I've always said about Adenims. He kind of lets these boom shots loose. And he doesn't really care too much about if it's gonna hit the target always. He kind of just shoots them. Yeah, well, you know, that's a little bit of like impatience, like. but sometimes, you know, it just makes you look like a god. When you shoot it across map, you might get a Hail Mary, you might look like a genius. Other times, it don't yet work out in your favor. Two to one hill advantage for Ghost Gaming. Optic, though, has set up for a possible last second push. If you take a look at this X-ray, Dezo might be angled out, but I believe the call out came. Look, there's another member of Ghost right here. He knows Mental's on that cover, so it's not gonna be any surprise when they try to push for the home hill of Ghost Gaming. They're gonna be able to play defense on this one. And there's the rotation sleeper. He's kind of giving up that up top. They do only realistically need one hill. So he wants to make sure his teammates are there with him. Boom shot is going to be coming up shortly. I know frags in the middle are as well. So it, it's not over yet for Ghost. They just need to make sure this is a situation where you don't need to die in it. Adenevs, he's going to go down. So three members of Optic Gaming looking to push up with Boom Shot spawning as well. And a triple cap opportunity from Optic. This is completely turned around at the last half of this round. Dezo, he's going to do what he can, but that's Solars with the Boom Shot. Solars, he's going to be the one looking to make a play for Optic. If I'm Solars, I use it just like that to clean off the first. Now you got to get up that hill. You got to get that smoke out on top of him. You got to make sure he can't see, but it's a little bit overthrown there. A little too much arm. Solars might want to stop going to the gym so much. That was a little strong, baby. That was a little strong. Optic forced back by Ghost. They need to push up if they want to fix this, finish this round. But they're going to actually push Solars first. They think he's the only one able to get the touch. And I do believe he's the only one really in position to get that touch. They're going to force him all the way back. Sleeper killing explosive round over, ladies and gentlemen, because Sleeper is going to have control of that E hill. No one's able to break either one. So one round out of time. Ghost Gaming looking to climb back. On the other hand, I've always said it. Once Optic Gaming reaches that six round mark, nine times out of 10, they close out the map. So Ghost is gonna have to do something teams can hardly do here and come back against his Optic squad. I do believe they were trailing six to two or six to one, something like that. Six to two, I do believe it was. So one round at a time is what they're looking to take. And I'm gonna take a second and give Sleeper some mad props right here. Not many people in this community go one-on-one -on -one with Explosive and come out on top. 
He's done it a couple times in this matchup to help them secure rounds. PR, what kind of a confidence boost is, does that give you? If you know you got a teammate that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best in the game. Uh, that's gonna give you the biggest boost of confidence in the world, because you know that it's not gonna be different, but boom shot for Solars, Gay and Nades. for Sleeper, first one will be able to come out, second one is coming out. Neither one. Oh, Solars with a boom shot. That's a huge kill. Sleeper, that's a big play for Ghost. Now they just have to realize it and take advantage. Mental's going to have to roll back. He had Sleeper down, but Monkeys is going to be able to go back and get the revive on him because Mental's going to have to back all the way up. Explosive, though, snuck over and got that boom shot in his grasp. But now you see Ghost is going to fly after him. They're going to try to get him down, try to keep him from using it. But Explosive turns around, picks Chaos off of the top of the map. Someone's getting addendums. So that's their two big kills for Optic Gaming. Mental still stuck in the middle market map area. They're gonna need some help there. Mental thinking he has it right there, but the boom shot, the second and last one from Explosive is gonna be taken out. Done. Monkeys, he's gonna try and get this kill on Mental. This is a big kill if he can get it. Is Mental probably one of the most composed, consistent players here. Monkeys is gonna fall three alive for Ghost, four for Optic, so they do have the upper hand for just a moment and two hills. Ghost Gaming has yet to get a point. Yeah, Ghost is yet to cap a hill, but again, as you get later and later into these rounds, as the right respawns get longer and longer, ladies and gentlemen, you can take your time because that means all you need is one full set of slays. You just need one full wipe and you can win the round. So I don't think Ghost is sweating it just yet. It ain't hot enough in the kitchen for them to start beating out. And they're setting up for the next boom shot. It should be up in around 30 seconds-ish. They're trying to push forward. They're trying to make it happen, but Chaos and Desonite are gonna fall. That is bad news bears for Ghost Gaming, especially, like I said, boom shot. 25 seconds remaining. Two members of Optic Gaming are gonna push down. They need to contest that boom shot. Monkeys is gonna do what he can, but he's gonna fall. Ghost Gaming. Seem Ghost to be the e falling right now. Sleeper. They're fighting the e hill, but Identives goes down, so the e hill will go back in favor of Optic. And look at the triple cap coming through. Sleeper's gonna have to push in. He's gonna have to make something happen. He'll go down. He'll be wiped off the map, and that will be Optic Gaming evening it up, ladies and gentlemen, one to one. I wouldn't have it any other way. Map three. Here we go. Potentially, do we see the tilted optic? The tilted optic can go very, very bad. But no, we saw an optic gaming that kept composure. And we saw on that map, there's a lot more setups being held there. You guys notice that? There's a lot more spacing between the teams, and that favors optic gaming so much more than ghost gaming. On map one, we saw ghost gaming push the tempo, push the intensity, and push the pace of the game. And that, that creates an opportunity for them to, to create a scenario where there's no setups at all, right? Yep. So we saw a ton of setups on Old Town. And obviously, like I said, optic had a very, very dominant performance. Yeah, perhaps the difference between Old Town and Slab, Old Town being the antithesis of Slab, it seems like a very distance-based and setup-based map. But you mentioned something interesting there, spacing. We're talking a little about spacing, what does that mean and why is it so important for Optic versus Ghost? Yeah, so when I talk about spacing, I basically mean that the space between the players when they're engage engaging each other, right? On Slab, when the engagements were had, no matter where they were, in Laundry and Home Hills, players were very, very close to each other. On Old Town, we saw lots of space between the players and space between the teams on the team fights. And that has to do with, with a couple things. One of them is the verticality of the map, right? So you're shooting upwards versus shooting downwards. There's also three lanes. There's a lot of opportunities for barriers to create basically barriers for people to go f to get close to each other right so that favors optic gaming quite a bit uh, one more thing to talk about is that we saw praise have a very 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 poor map one he had a much better map two right before the last round I have it he had 22 kills and 16 downs leading up to the final round that put the nail in the coffin so huge bounce back by him and when he's playing well it makes this team very very difficult to beat well said and gentlemen you guys obviously were casting the match and you're casting a game like Gears of War you're engulfed in the energy the excitement the hype of the map what was the difference in energy between map one and map two i mean to me i, I was on my feet I, not really but i, I was ready <laughs> for this the entire time optic gaming showed up they did what they needed to do to force a map number three and they did it in a way where they didn't force any fights you see multiple players on optic gaming like ryan said back rolling lancering them down and i'm pretty sure that's gilbert or somebody saying hey just land to these guys we don't need to fight them like this i think the biggest difference in that and those two maps like ryan said 
Praised had a much better map number two. I always refer to Praised as the soldier to me. He does what he's told. He's, he, you can point at anybody and say, go get that one, and he'll do it for you. I think he needs that kind of leadership. He needs that kind of mentality. I call him the soldier. He came through for his team. He did exactly what needed to be done. He dug his feet into the mud. He stayed in the trenches. He made the right shots. He did it all, and there you go. Optic Gaming evens it right back up. Of course. And, and that mid-range to long-range type of fight is much more suited for Praise's yep. play style. We've seen it through multiple Gears of War titles. He is very effective at that mid-range because he has a very accurate Lancer. He's played on slow sensitivities in the past to have an accurate Lancer, and he also is very, very good at giving damage with mid-range shotgun shots. He has a very good left trigger shot, and again, that suits his play style so much more than these quick, super fast bouncing engagements. Of course, Praised, a very, very methodical player. He was one of the three players that was considered to be in God tier back in Gears of War 3 alongside Toy Soldier and Nat. Nasty. We miss you, Nasty. Come back to the Gears Pro <laughs> Circuit soon, bud. But praised now. We called him out. We questioned his gameplay, and we said he was going to answer. Boy, he did with his individual gameplay. But yes, to finalize that thought, Gears of War 4 almost seemed like it nerfed praised a tiny, tiny bit just because it's all about close quarters combat. That, of course, changed with 2.8 in some of these more recent settings, and you saw praised return back to praised like forum, and of course, that was the case in map two. Yeah, I mean, in UE, you talk about the, the gods in Gears 3, right? In UE, there kind of was one god, it, it seemed was, like, right? Yeah. The, the MVP. Right, despite, you know, the, the boys about the gaming winning more you know championships. I, I would say the community kind of considered Praise to be the player is. in UE. You're hunting uh, with the <laughs> lion. <laughs> right? And, and in Gears of War 4, bear, it's, it's a little harder to predict. I mean, we have much quicker movement, very much, I guess, a faster game, obviously, but harder to predict players' movement and, their, and what they're going to do on the map. So, like I said, it, does it nerf him? Maybe a little bit. Of course. Praised, coming from New York City, one of the most animated players. You love him. The you Bronx. Listen to those listen in. But not the Bronx. <laughs> of course he is. Big shout out to my boy Praised. And now we go into a game number three, and boy, we could not have written a better story here at the Gears Pro Circuit. Mexico City, Ghost Gaming in front of their home crowd, performing in a major way. But Optic Gaming needs to step up and needs to finish and continue the momentum that they had. Can Optic Gaming, the dynasty, the legacy that they have, work their way back into the Grand finals and claw through a two match series to beat denial or will it be ghost gaming that's able to close this one out and secure themselves a spot in the championship finals in front of their fans gentlemen are you sticking with your predictions 100 percent. i said 2-1 it's going down that line right it i is. said 2-0 but i'm sticking i'm sticking by it optic gaming is going to be able to close this out right here right i also said 2-0 but i am of course sticking with optic gaming it seems like some of the air has sort of been let out in this building right now right it seems like all of a sudden we're on an even playing field again it seems like all of a sudden we have a fresh series in front of us and it seems like some of the hype has kind of been a little bit taken away from the ghost side of my Quick eyes. metaphor there. Colin, you proud? Can you take that metaphor and take it one step up, the air being let out? Put a dog in there, too. A dog in a hey, balloon. All right. What you got is a dog <laughs> that bit the side of a balloon. Here comes the air out of the room because those teeth sunk in so deep from Optic Gaming. It popped it, oh baby. That balloon God. is gone. It's done and dusted. We move on to map three because Optic Gaming, they're I, not done. I actually can't with this guy. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a new, it's a new <laughs> journey every single time. You really did girl, it on we got to do, do a different type of dog each time. Is it a German yeah, Shepherd this time? Is it, is it a... Ribbon. A that, that, that's the challenge we're gonna, for Colin. We're going to start ad libbing. It's going to be like that South Park commercial making fun of Family Guy. We're going to pick three <laughs> random things and see how we can make it a metaphor. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are uh, strapped in and ready to go for game number three. Optic Gaming versus Ghost Gaming. If you are enjoying the action, spread the word and make sure the world knows of the hype, the action that Gears Esports brings. Colin, PR, take it away. It felt like we were just here for a map two a little while ago between Denial and Optic, but now it's changed, it's map three, it's your tournament life, but we are back on Harbor, smokes out, PR. Take it away, baby. Oh, Summits, he was actually beat, he beat Ghost to their side of the map, but luckily for Ghost, they were stunned. Desonide, he's gonna be the first to fall in this matchup. Next is gonna be Monkeys, Identifies the Chaos, four dead in a matter of seconds. On the side of Ghost Gaming, Sleeper, he's gonna have to make a miracle happen over on the B side of the map because if he doesn't make it happen or at least buy enough time for his teammates to spawn, it's gonna be all over in just a matter of seconds. Quick as a hiccup, this first round has been in the blink of an eye, and now Opti Gaming will try to hold off this onslaught. Explosive rolls back after getting one, but it doesn't matter. 47 seconds, they will pick up a round, and ladies and gentlemen, I just heard cheers for Optic Gaming. Ghost Gaming's got to get back into this. They got to start winning rounds. They got to get the crowd back on their side. I don't want to hear those cheers coming out for the green wall after these round wins because you have been solely in the favor of Ghost. Don't turn on them now that they're losing. Interesting to see that marks are being placed 
on that portion of the map. Typically you see it over on the home hills where you can put fire down on anybody going through the catwalk to the winch, but they're putting it across the map, making sure it's not in the hands of explosives as well, because it makes you pick somebody else to pick it up. But once again, this fight over going down towards winch, but Optic Game is looking to defer. They're gonna defer, they're gonna throw the smokes, they're not gonna send anybody down there to the winch. They're gonna let Desenide get that for free and maybe make his decision explosive. Coming in from behind, trying to get a flank off, but he's gonna get called out, down and out. And you see now Ghost tries to open it up with a couple kills of their own. Just a little bit of action going down right now. I was just trying to assess the situation, see what either team needed to do. Praise had Identus full red, so you gotta think, if Identus was able to come out on top and make a huge difference here early on in this round, you gotta wonder what would've happened if he died. But luckily for him, he did not. But Optic Gaming looking to make a play in towards a B Street. Optic looking to take over the boat. And this is where if Optic takes over this boat, their next hill is going to be B. And since they have the winch support, it's going to be easy for them. I'm not sure if that was a little bit of a miscommunication. But Praised did roll all the way over to the side of Ghost Gaming. So he was going to be caught out. He got called out. He got taken out. Sleeper team kills Dezo, but he's gonna end up getting picked up because the identity or the chaos rotation will come in in time to help him. Praise though, cleaning everybody up, playing the custodian role, baby. Got a little mop in his hands. And this seems like a brand new optic game. We talk about how Ghost, the rebirth, the reborn team. Optic, after losing the winner's finals, after falling in map number one in the loser's finals, they gained a footing on the match. They're beginning to take control, taking out the captain of Ghost. Identifs, he's gonna fall. Optic looking to take control of this boat. They already have B, so getting control of this boat as well is gonna be very hard to break on the side of Ghost Gaming, and eventually they're gonna have to do just that as they trail her early on in this round. They trail her early on in this round, indeed, PR, but you see the Lancer fire, you see the marks. This is a beautiful defensive setup by Optic Gaming. As you see the x-rays of the members of Optic Gaming from the sight lines of Sleeper, I think he might be waiting for the marks to come back because if he gets it in his hands, it could be very, very dangerous. But you see Summons getting their marks off, respawn. You see Chaos pushing in, he's trying to make something happen here. They're gonna get a kill there on Summons, so the marks are gonna be wiped off the map. You see Explosive get one. Explosive trying to make something happen. He's in a 2v1. He's going to have to wait for that respawn to come off. You see Ghost Gaming moving to that C hill. And PR, this could be dangerous. Desenai, he's taking down Chaos. He's going to get the trade, though. That's a huge double kill by Chaos. He needs to break B as well, though. He's going to be one of the few people in position. Solars, Praise, the duo coming over to Optic Gaming. They need to make this stop for the team. 201 and County Ghost needs to go now. But Monkeys, he's going to do it. He gets one, but he is finally taken out. So Optic Gaming with yet another round. Coming out strong in our tiebreaker round with a quick 2-0 lead. So, PR. You said early in that in that mat in that round, excuse me. You said uh, they put that Marksa down there so that Explosive can't get to it. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It didn't look like it mattered much with Solar. So far, it hasn't looked like it matters much. And, and I think that round really came down to they had Explosive down. Summons was kind of bait and get it. He finally gets to the revive. Those Summons who died, Explosive goes up, gets the up a around the corner on the home mill, and then from there they were no longer able to hold Optics home hill and push forward. So. Shout outs to Explosive, time and time again, being the man, making things happen, but Ghost hovering over a few weapons. I, I do like the boom shot placement up top. That's gonna force the fight away from Wench. It's gonna force three to four members to go up top towards that boom shot. Maybe an early quick pick smoke from the home hill. If you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, when you guys go to capture that home hill, on this map, if you LT the smoke, you can throw it up towards where that boom shot is at. So their front spawn possibly is gonna get stunned or allow your front spawn to get a quick pick. And look at this, look at the way the numbers are spread. It's a mirror image of one another. Everybody making the same moves. So you gotta figure out who's where, what's happening. Praise tries to roll into that cubby. Identity does a great job of finding him, blowing his head off. Summon's getting taken out by Chaos as well, so now Mental's gonna have to make something happen with the captain of Optic Gaming Explosive. They're gonna have to rotate back here. You see them playing for their life. The overhead shot's coming out. Explosive will get picked off by that boom. And Mental, he's running for his life. He's taking it all the way to Albuquerque at this point. He's still going. He's finally in the home of the ghost. He's trying to prolong this round if he can. Gets the down on Monkeys. That, that, that's how you're gonna start it right now. Especially at a player like Monkeys, a guy who's been a thorn in your side the entire series. Mental, 
he's not even a cap home mill. And the reason why he's not capping home mill is because the players off of respawn for Optic will cap that home mill for him since he's already on the map. He needs to push forward. Mental still full red, but he gets another kill there on Sleeper. As dangerous as ever, ladies and gentlemen, he can make it happen in the blink of an eye. He doesn't need no time. He doesn't need any help almost. He's still getting the kills, baby. Mental, he's gonna go over here and just hide right now. Even though Ghost might know he's here, he's kind of hiding on this side of the map because that's a power position not, uh, where Ghost, if they want to get Mental out of this spot, they're going to have to smoke him. Then Mental can easily run away, regroup with Solars, and then Ghost Gaming has no smokes to make a push towards the B Hill. And so you see this though, look, it's almost like a second half setup. Explosive. Waiting there and gets that secondary mark, so baby. That is dangerous and that is possibly bad news bears. Look at him looking all the way for the mark. He's trying to find it, trying to sight in. Might get one or two clicks or clacks there, especially with that active. It's gonna be bad news if you get hit with it. This is crazy right now because it looks like Ghost Gaming saying three members low side of the map asleep are doing what explosive doing to explosive what explosive was doing to everyone else, but that boom shot's gonna be up in about 15 seconds, so. This is where you can see both teams starting to make their way up top. Ghost Gaming already have the upper hand. Praise, he's trying to stretch these numbers down by running towards Ghost Gaming's home hill, but with Boomshot coming up in about three seconds, Ghost Gaming should have control. Ghost Gaming should be able to pick it up almost immediately, especially with Praise going down. There's that boom. The smoke will come out. Monkey's gonna get marked, but he's able to be picked up in the safest place possible. You could see the x-ray. He was actually just about in between those two pillars. So to hit him with a Lancer would have been next to impossible. Not impossible, but next to. Monkey's already wasting one boom, not able to connect with a kill. The second one needs to be important. He's already looked like he's shooting across the map. He's getting landed on summits. That's a big one right there because Ghost Gaming can come back with two uncontested hills. Solars, he's trying to make it happen by himself. Praise is next. I I'm pretty sure Optic Gaming knows they need to force a break on one of these home hills on the flip side. It's Ghost Gaming. They're going to be the aggressors. They need to be careful, though. Optic with an opportunity there. Praise, he's on the low side of the map. He's going to be the one to break B if it is going to happen. Mental gets taken out though. B's getting decapped. A is getting decapped. So Optic's not getting any points. And here it goes 198 to 198. And Ghost will take the lead. They will take the advantage. And I believe they will take this round and get it to be two to one. And that is a much better story if you're a Ghost Gaming fan than down 3 0. Yep, and this could start a momentum shift. The only thing I see that could hurt Ghost is now Optic Gates gets to place their weapon on the map. This is where you can see maybe something middle, or they're gonna X off middle that. If you X off middle here in this situation, that means every single round until the boom shot is taken off the map will be played up top. Three to four people, typically you see four, especially Optic, they've been loving to send four people around the map to gather the wolf pack and get out on top. So with a block coming through, still my least favorite weapon placement, I will beat that dead horse forever. But, I'm not changing nothing. We're still gonna see a 4v4 for that boom shot. Everybody's gonna have their all eyes up there. One member each going for that Marks and Solar Sleeper trying to make that happen. Here comes the smoke, Dezo going in for the quick pick, but he is stunned. A very late smoke grenade by Praised actually placed perfectly, getting the stun there and preventing the quick pick. But it doesn't matter because Dezo still gets it, gets summons almost immediately. Explosive trying to hug that corner. Wow, Chaos making it happen to three dead already for Optic. They're looking to get that fourth kill on Praise. He's gonna try and run around. Chaos making that smart play as well. He, he said, I don't need to chase this kill. My teammates are there. I'm gonna go ahead and stand in the hill. So now, Solar's last member alive for Optic, or was for a moment while everyone spawned up. He's down there by himself. Chaos trading some shots. He's gonna come out on top. Chaos going big for this squad to stand in the hill. Chaos, he's gonna get a double kill on Mental. That make it happen. Can he go for a triple? Yes, he can. Ladies and gentlemen, Optic Gaming easily evening this one up in our tiebreaker map two to two. You know, you had that beautiful call in the first map, PR, and I'm gonna quote you. He said there were three, and then he said there were two, then he said there was one, and then he said... None. Oh, Chaos baby. Chaos putting on a show there. He made that smart play, because if Chaos chases Praise there down that ramp, he's not in position to break the hill. He's not in position to get those kills, and who knows, Optic Gaming can easily fight back from it. So shout outs to Chaos there to make it happen. On the flip side, Optic Gaming, what is going wrong? 
you know, they're getting away from their original game plan. That quick pick is really starting to get to them. They're not being able to get there. They put the hammies down on the first half home hills. You might see a similar push, but somebody going over there to get the hammer burst, and then the other three will go straight for that boom shot. Here it comes. Summons will get the boom shot all rip. What can he do? Chaos. Even though Optic has the boom, he's not showing any fear. He's still keeping that position mental. He kind of knows there's a flank, but maybe he thinks the different player is there, but luckily for him, he gets that early kill on Monkeys, makes it where Chaos, with a flank that he could have got, is no more, because now he's just in a bad position, trapped kind of all by himself. No one from those can really help him, so you can expect him to fall here, but can he get a kill? No, he cannot. Two members alive for Ghost. They're going to turn Turtle up. Yeah, right there, you saw that early kill, mental playing a little game of Jack in the Box. He was on that cover, he peeked his head over, peeked a boo, and blew his brains out. Now you see Braves picking up that meat shield, he'll go down. I believe somebody's there to pick him up. Summons will get that kill with the boom shot, all five wiped off the map, and that will be the third round in favor of Optic Gaming. They answer back almost immediately, a minute and some change. This is now Ghost Gaming, they, they need to talk. Uh, what weapon are we gonna place? <laughs> What weapon are we gonna change? I actually see. They uh, actually have to put a weapon at B. They have to put it. They have to put something at B. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be incense. And yes, it will be incense, ladies and gentlemen. We will have incendiary grenades down there. B. It's not gonna change much about the rest of the map. You might have a little bit of a tussle down there. I really thought you saw it up there and was trying to be funny, but then I turned and realized it was the crowd. So that was that was really good knowledge right there. Breaking down the game for us time and time again. Good predictions on these placements. I, uh, what, what, do you, what do you got for this match right now, or for this round? I watch it a lot. You're going to see Summons throw the smoke out. That's a great smoke. He gets him to roll back, too. So the smoke might come in, but it might be a little bit too late. He's going to get that quick pick. I would I would sacrifice yourself. No. Explosive. Oh, goodness gracious. Good God almighty. The rotation and the savior medal in the hands of Explosive, getting his teammate out of safely with that boom shot. Mental going in. He, he thought Desenai was full red. So even though Desenai died there to the boom shot, I honestly, I ain't even mad at it right now because he got the down on Mental. Summons forced to kill himself. That's basically a trade and a wasted boom shot. On the other hand, Monkeys running through the middle, taking out Praise. Solar's doing what he can with the marks, so and he's gonna get taken down as well. I would have. He got so close to getting that down. Monkeys almost down to 20% health left. Really had to hit every single shot to make sure that he could get that down, get that kill, and wipe him off the map. Optic with a commanding point lead, but Ghost is threatening here. And if I'm Ghost, you gotta find your numbers. Look at that. You gotta try to get this revive chain, but you're not gonna hardly have any chance to get out because Summons hitting every single Lancer bullet. He was basically a walking turret right there. It's a 22 second respawn rounds. Every life is so enforcing. This is almost basically execution. Desenai, he's gonna do what he can, getting the down on Summit. Sleeper, he's staying alive. Sleeper, maybe he shouldn't have went for that kill. Maybe he should have tried to stay alive, but Monkeys was there to back him up. Now he's forced to retreat. Monkeys, he's in such a bad spot, but he's been showing up here all day long. Does he know he's getting flanked? Yes, he does. This is where he's gonna try and push one of these two players. But you gotta make a decision. Game too much. He tried, but it did not happen because Explosive hit him with a concrete block, praise, pistols him a couple times. Chaos, identifies last two alive. You gotta take your time here, big boys. You cannot, if they don't push you, let your resources get off spawn. If Optic Gaming is silly enough to either wait or not push you, I think they're gonna leave Solars there though because that boom shot should be coming back in about 15 seconds. Sure. Yeah, but you have to hit the nail on the head with that one. Now we're down to 10. Optic Gaming doesn't even look to care about this boom shot as multiple members are down and dead on the side of Ghost Gaming. Triple cap opportunity coming out for Optic. Multiple members are fall. Desenai, he's gonna be the last one. So at our halftime, ladies and gentlemen, Optic Gaming pulling away with a four to two lead. But what happens at halftime? Uh, the hills will flop. The home hills will flop over to the other side of the map. So will that neutral hill go up to that stern area. Then respawns, they'll drop all the way back down to their lowest. And we will see a brand new map almost because the initial fights they're gonna be similar to that boom shot fight, but those two home hills, you might see a little trick strat here. There's somebody go through that mid cut, maybe overload that side to put pressure, especially with no power weapons to play for. Anything can happen in this first round of the first of the second half. Yep. So, like he said, refreshed here, four up. No one has to cap a home hill that goes towards the boat. So we're gonna have a four feet four early on. So it's all about how you rotate and play it as a team. It's first blood is gonna go over to Desenide and they're gonna try and get this quick capture to get the easy first couple of points here early on in the half. Look at the chunk there. Desenide so low on health, trying to bounce around in that cubby, trying to stay alive. 
doing an amazing job of it so far. They're gonna keep explosive and praised out of this fight for now. Mental as well. Excuse me, that summons that will be pushed back down those stairwells. Here comes Praise rotating over to where an explosive is. So early in this round, the hill's in favor of, uh, of Ghost Gaming, but the push comes out. The explosive doesn't get that chunk there on Dezo, so Dezo's still alive. Dezo playing so proficiently right now, so efficiently right now as well. Saving his life, has saving his teammates as well. Coming in for some kills. Wow. Wow. Four dead, four Optic Gaming. I, I was pretty sure Optic Gaming was gonna be able to stay alive, gain some position, but a flank by Summit went wrong, started off the, the kills for Ghost Gaming. Dezenide, he's put full red. He's gonna try and get this break, and he is gonna get the decap for the time being. Monkeys is in the house. A 1v1 between Mental and somebody else at E as well. He's gonna go down. Ghost Gaming finally striking back in the half, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Four dead, Solar's the last member alive. He's gonna fall, five dead, Ghost Gaming take the round. Beautifully played round there, and it all started. PR, they roll back. They roll back, play a little defense, and then as soon as they had any opening whatsoever, they got that first down. You saw Dezenide rush through that opening as hard as he could, like a great running back, going through a cut right there, getting in that hole, pushing that gap. And then they get the kills, they get the hills. Next thing you know, the bell tolls, and they get another round on the board for the boys in black and white. Explosive, 10 kills, five downs, 10 deaths, leading his team, Chaos, leading his team with 15. Chaos, who's kind of the guy in charge in Agdenim's absence. Now that he's here, he kind of has a co-leader for this squad, along with Demise being their coach. That's a core three for the squad, bringing out all the strategies for their team. Okay, then my or Dezenai, he's actually the hey, first Denai. one that's down. He's gonna be the first one that's down for the squad off the game he get to pick up the kill. All right, Dezenai's gonna get picked up, but look at all the health. All the health over there on Ghost, down and low in area. Chaos, only 1%. Explosive goes to try to get that headshot on the down member, but he's not. He's just gonna down, identifies again. He's gonna active again. He's gonna try to get the three down and out. He won't get it. Monkeys will return <laughs> the favor, though, with a headshot of his own. Explosive, he was trying to get the headshot with the marks on the down, similar to what Monkeys just did to him. Even though the numbers are in favor of Optic Gaming, or if Ghost Gaming, it looks like Optic Gaming is still gonna be able to hold on. But as I say that, doesn't I get a double kill on one side of the map? Chaos making it happen as well. Now it looks like Ghost Gaming have the upper hand here, and Solars is in a weird spot. He should be getting flanked here momentarily by Ghost Gaming, but he's gonna come out on top. Nice shots by Solars. Solars getting that kill. He's gonna be able to possibly trade out. Yes, Explosive comes in even for the revive. Chaos pushes in. Solars tries to do another little song and dance, gets the double down. That's a great straight fight, by the way, PR. If you don't know, that little itty bitty two step that Solars does and the disrespect by Summons the pistol out, the handles with him. He's giving him the backhand, baby, the strong hand, get those downs. Hey, but it's not too much right now as Ghost does have the lead, so two hills in favor of Optic Gaming. They're looking to reclaim the lead. Explosive, he's gonna continue moving forward. He's gonna try and get behind enemy lines for the time being and try and get a flank over at E. You see two members of Ghost, they're trying to make it happen. Trying to hold down, this is actually Optic Gaming side of the map, excuse me, so that's Monkeys and Dezenide. Trying to hold some sort of footing on the other side of the map, it's gonna be Chaos with a kill on Praise. Ghost. Looking to be the aggressors here, but Optic Gaming the making out. the pay. Explosive is down, another trade off coming. Mental's left all by himself. They're gonna flop over here to Solar. Solar's trying to make a fight happen with Identives. Big kill on Identives. The triple cap gets threatened. Summons in a 1v1 for the round, but the FL will go back in favor. No, it won't. No, it won't. What movement, what a magician, but it is not enough in the 2v1 with the marks of using the overwatch for his teammate. Great shots, great damage, perfectly played. Optic game, or Ghost Gaming need to go, and they need to go now with uh, roughly 17 seconds before the match is over. Chaos, Identips, they're trying to make it happen. Not even a decap coming out just yet. Less than 10 seconds, and they can't even have time to cap their own home hill. They need to continue going forward. Somebody needs to sneak by Optic Gaming. So far, no one's able to make it happen. Nobody there able to get there the touch. There it is, there it is. Optic Gaming win getting a, another round. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, the second you see 207, nobody's already on a hill. Take a deep breath on that team. Let it exhale, because you know you got that round secured, baby. Got it in your back pocket. Optic Gaming go up three. They go up five to three over Ghost Gaming. 
If I'm Ghost, I go back to what worked. What was that, the boom shot? Yes, it was. And they're already hovering it. You see monkeys just kind of hovering it with 17 seconds left. They're probably just talking out the strategy. They're talking about what they want to do here, whether they want to be aggressive, or they want to smoke and Lancer. There's a lot of opportunity here on the side of Ghost Gaming to make this comeback. But if your optic summons time and time again, has been going up, throwing that smoke, followed by a late smoke by Praise. They've been quick picking, getting it out. And, and then after they get out, it, it's Explosive who's there to kind of facilitate to make sure he's 100% safe and able to put that boom shot to use. So back and forth Explosive action. might not be there this time, though, because with that marks on the map, I believe they're going to send Explosive over there to pick it up. So somebody else is going to have to fill in that lane, or they will have to trust in one another to use a 2v2 to get it out. Summons bodied off the initial by Dezenide going absolutely massive for his team. Gargantuan even like a Goliath. A smart play by Desenai, pulling out that Lance of Fire, knowing I don't need to get into close range to die. Multiple members of Optic Gaming are going to head to the respawn as Desenai, he's pushing up. He wants more. He has that boom shot in the hands. He just needs to make sure he doesn't take any damage here. As you see, he's going to flank Solars. First boom shot coming out. He hits him right in the nose, taking him out. And there you go. He's going to try and threaten with that triple cap. Only one member is going to be able to get that touch. Praise. If he doesn't get the touch, this round is over. He's going to try to fight through, but the boom shot waiting on him as he hits the corner. Ghost Gaming will get their fourth round under their belt. Great, great patience right there. He knew his teammate was in the initial fight. Even if his teammate loses it, he has a boom shot to basically throw out and guarantee that kill. So there was no need to rush that shot. Perfect play. This is looking like it's gonna be very, very similar to the first half. Almost entirely, obviously, Marks is a little bit more towards D instead of where they're at now. But boom shot up top, X being in the middle, side weapons being placed. So we saw Optic Gaming get a lead, four to two and a half. But so far in the second half, it's been two one in favor of Ghost. Can they keep the momentum, or will Optic Gaming put a stop to what's been going on? The focus, the pure intensity on Ghost Gaming in between rounds. They are playing for pride. They are playing for passion. The money is nice, but at the end of the day, you're in front of the hometown crowd. You're in front of your favorites. You gotta try to make it happen. You gotta try to be that guy. Mental tries to push in, but he's in a close-knit hallway. With the marks are looking at him. Summons gets the body there. Monkey's now having to contend with the summons, but he goes down before he can even get the boom shot and summons pistols him on the ground. I almost love what he did right there. Desenai I was the guy with the boom shot. He knew Desenai I was down. Instead of cleaning up the kill, he immediately turned around without hesitation. But on the flip side, Optic Gaming already threatening. Denim's not gonna be able to get a touch, so match point for Optic Gaming in our losers final. So Ghost, this weapon placement is huge. No matter what it's gonna be, it's either gonna be a side weapon or something in B. So the only thing I think that'll change up this fight is gonna be a drop shot in B. So now you get a question on the side of Ghost Gaming here. Are you gonna try and change up the fight or are you gonna continue doing what you're doing? Because so far, Boom Shot has been picked up by Dezenide. And it's with the incendiary grenades going in yet again, it is not good news because I don't think that changes anything. I think it might make Solar scrap a little bit harder in that initial 1v1 for those home hills. But outside of that, you're going to see the same thing. People going for the marks. If I am Ghost Gaming, personally, I think you ought to go for a little overload strat right here. Ensure a safe boom shot pickup. But it will not happen. You'll see the same numbers everywhere, mirror images of one another. Nobody going out of their comfort zone. Trying to play by the book. And you know who might have wrote most of that book? That man right there on your screen, Summons, making all the YouTube videos, teaching us how to bounce, teaching us how to shoot, teaching us how to be a better player. This is looking very bad for Ghost, but if you're a fan of Optic Gaming, this is looking very good. Monkeys, he has to hold the line. He has to be the last saving grace for Ghost Gaming. He's gonna take it out. Identif spawning up. He has to run through three members of Optic Gaming. If he's gonna get a touch, he's gonna get down. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Optic Gaming win your losers finals and advance for a rematch against Denial. And what a rematch it will be. It'll be the two Goliaths in this tournament. It'll be two teams that hate each other. That pure emotion and adrenaline as we return to our grand finals. Optic Gaming going up 2-0, 2-1 over Ghost Gaming. And once again, you can't believe it. It almost seems like we're writing ourselves a Gears history novel that is full 
of action and not in fiction, of course, as Optic Gaming claws their way back after down one to zero in maps in pure Optic Gaming fashion to go up against their nemesis, their rivals, Denial Esports in the grand finals. Fallout here joined, of course, with our casters, PR and Colin, almost called Javelli again, alongside the analyst, Ryan, <laughs> like who, of course, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Alongside the analyst, who used to be the coach, of course, of that former Denial Esports squad and franchise. Ryan, you know a lot about this Denial squad. You know a lot about their mental pre preparation and what is going into this grand finals match. Of course, Icy on Denial also was a part of that United team that in London lost and let Optic re reset the bracket and beat them from losers bracket finals. What's the mentality coming into this grand final? The mentality coming into this grand finals is the same mentality you had coming into winners finals. They feel like they are the better team. They feel like they're the more prepared team. They feel like they're the most prepared team. And for them, I just talked to Franchise a few minutes ago. He said, one more match, two more maps. That's all we need. Yeah, of course, all of the confidence in the world. How could you not have the confidence after the performance they had against Optic Gaming the first time around in the winner's bracket finals? 